pretty sure we were just at in on it still I think where was that hmm. are we live oh my gosh uh hello hey how's it going everyone uh today we're gonna be playing some earthbound for the super nes with a super nintendo controller on nintendo switch online look at this 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 incredible technology how's everyone doing do you have a good uh, it, today this is basically my monday by the way i've had off for the past couple days so this uh, i had off yesterday and i had off friday and then the weekend of course so i guess i've had off quite a bit but yeah this this is a uh, this is my my day back to so how y'all doing i'm a little tired my back's a little sore i can't really fix that right now this chair will help but maybe my posture could uh, could get a little bit better too hey everyone though hey bolt mouse bolt mouse oh it's your birthday today nice congratulations i hope you get some cool stuff or get to do something nice that would be sweet is it anyone else's birthday today my birthday's in a couple days and my buddy zach it was just his birthday uh last week thursday i think i saw him in the chat earlier here Wishing that we'd get a Link's Awakening remake of Earthbound. <laughs> yeah, everyone wish Bolt Mouse a happy birthday. Biggest, the biggest Earthbound birthday. <laughs> oh my gosh, they got a, a Tears of the Kingdom Switch? That's so cool. Well, that's amazing. <laughs> uh, Caden says, I just played Earthbound for the first time a few months ago, and somehow the soundtrack is already in, in, intensely nostalgic. It does feel kind of like... It kind of sits in that time frame very, very well, like that, like that classic era. But is it that you, you hear it and you're like reminded of like the good old days of playing Earthbound? Is that how it feels kind of? <laughs> I feel that. Like I, I played Earthbound for the first time. Well, I mean, I guess I played it when it came to Wii U. Uh, and I, di I didn't play much of it, maybe only f a couple hours or something. And then, uh, and then I really got through it on 3DS. But I've, I've told, I've mentioned that a lot. So, um, but I feel that like even, you know, maybe it's the sort of thing. A lot of people probably haven't played Earthbound, but have heard the music thanks to YouTube. Uh, just because of all the different videos that people will, will feature the music in. It's a, it's such a diverse soundtrack too, that there's a lot of fun, fun tracks. <laughs> um, I guess we can just get into the game though. Uh, it's, uh, the last, last we played. Uh, we, I think we finished on it, own it, own it is what I say. Some people say won it. Some people say, ah, net. I like own it. I think, I don't remember. My, my brain is probably being rewritten as I speak. We have the, the official Nintendo power strategy guide that was gifted to me by our directors. Very kindly. Those guys, are you kidding me? Are you kidding me? Still, it's been like a year, and I still just can't believe that I have this now. Uh, but let's see where. Oh no, I'm I'm looking too far ahead. This strategy guide is amazing, by the way. If anyone wants to follow along, you can actually download a PDF. Ooh, what if I put that in the description? The PDF download guide. Nintendo officially released it on their uh, on their website. Also, can anybody hear gameplay music right now? I cannot, and that's probably something. Oh, hold on. Okay, now I can. Sorry. <laughs> I was like, oh no. Could you imagine if there was no music this whole time? And that theme is so good. Uh, but yeah, I'm gonna find the Earthbound PDF guide. So if anyone wants to follow along, and if they want to help, I have played Earthbound before, so we don't have to worry about spoiling anything for me at all. I'm pretty sure we covered this on the website a while back. Ah, yeah, I found it. Okay, here it is. Here it is. <laughs> yeah, give me, give me a sec. Give me a sec here while I, I'm gonna edit this into the description quick. 
Yeah, so really, if anyone wants to follow along, you don't even have to download the PDF. It's just there. There we go. Okay, sweet. So, yeah, so I think we finished Onet. On it? I don't know. My brain is is mush. <laughs> My catch up on the chat. I was just doing way too much typing. <laughs> Uh, a remake, uh, Andrew uh, says a remake in the style of the clay art models used in promotional artwork for the original game would be great. Kind of like Link's Awakening on Switch or Super Mario RPG remake, but less shiny. I totally agree. Super Mario RPG has that like toy-like look, doesn't it? I think it kind of looks a little strange, uh, but I also felt the same way about Link's Awakening when that was first released. Like I, I kind of wanted a more gritty remake of Link's Awakening for some reason. Uh, and I'm, I'm happy with what we got. I'm happy we have it. And I think I feel the same about Super Mario RPG. But I also agree, though, that, you know, like, that game, the art style was very... It looks plasticky in its promotional materials for RPG. But, yeah, Earthbound does have, like, it looks very... every All the, all the characters look matte, right? Here's Apple Kid, who we will eventually... I think we'll meet him today, I think. Uh, he, yeah, his, his character model, like, there's a bit of shine in, like, he's got buttons. He's got buttons on his overalls there, and those have a bit of shine. So I wouldn't mind, like, yeah, some glaze in certain areas. But you're right, it would be cool to kind of see, like, uh, what was it? What was the Kirby game on Wii U? Kirby and the Rainbow Curse? Is that what it was? Uh, yes, Kirby and the Rainbow Curse had, like, a really cool clay art style. Uh, claymation, almost. And it would be really sweet if uh, Itoy and uh, the team were able to kind of pull that off at some point. I almost forgot to put on my mother watch today. Goodness. I went to a festival this weekend, and it got so dusty. I have, I have to, like, really wash this thing, but it's gross. It's very gross. Oof. Oh my gosh, Franco Chan donated or uh, super chatted. I I don't know I don't know what that is, but I'm gonna figure that out. Oh, that's pesos. That's so kind of you. Thank you. Thank you so much. Uh, Franco says a part of me is on the fence about a remake. Kind of like imagining if they wanted to remake Star Wars. Part of the charm is how it looks and feels. I I agree. Uh, I I think the best thing about this, at least, is. Well, the, the thing they'd have to do, right, is they can't ever, like, just remove Earthbound off Nintendo Switch Online. Like, if we got a remake or something someday, uh, I think as long as we as long as long we can have our cake and we can we can eat that and then we can have, like, another... Maybe we can have ice cream, too. I think that's that's what I would like is just to have just to have options, you know. Uh, like, maybe Nintendo, I don't know. It'd be, it'd be sweet if they did remake Earthbound someday. And then they just put, like, the Super Nintendo version on there and, or, yeah, I guess the Super Nintendo and Super Famicom version and the, uh, and the remake. That would be sweet. So then we have a physical cartridge with both. Oof. That'd be cool. But I do agree. Like, it, it it's, it's scary territory walking into a remake because we don't know what it'll be and we don't know if the team behind it will have the same passion that, that the fans do. Uh, but hopefully, hopefully Nintendo and, and a toy. I think a toy wouldn't just let it into the hands of anyone you know so i think i think if we got got the right people working on it i think we'd be fine um especially because the the uh translations already there you know uh for for earthbound mother three well that could be a little that could be a little tricky um but i still i would love to live in the universe where we get to see that um okay so let's let's get into the game though uh so we yeah let's where's the strategy guide where where did that go it's right in front of me this whole time so if anyone wants to follow along i'm going to be on page 26 we talk about the tucson 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 tribune <laughs> i love this a missing girl rescued from a cult a local teenager was rescued 
yesterday from the clutches of the happy, happy village cult by a heroic hero named Ness. Uh, we haven't done that yet, though, actually. Am I too far? No. Oh, I'm just like, they're putting that ahead. They put that way too far ahead. They're predicting what we're going to do. Okay, I shouldn't be reading that stuff. We're on page 28. I lied. We're on page 28. 28 of the official Earthbound Player's Guide. Uh, so yeah, so we're going to Tucson. We're going to go to a flea market? Oh my gosh, I love flea markets. This is great. I haven't honestly been to enough of them before. But the dream for the longest time, funny enough, was always to find a copy of Earthbound at a flea market. Um, have any of you seen that? There's a YouTube video out there where a dude finds a copy of Earthbound at a flea market. And uh, ever since then, I was just like, it's possible. The dream is real. You can find it on, on YouTube. Uh, maybe I'll link it down below if I remember, or if someone else wants to, too, you know, in the chat. Um, so cool. So cool to see. Hey, aren't you Ness? Well, I got the okay from Chief Strong to let you through. <laughs> Take care of yourself. What a nice cop. You're doing well. Keep it up. The town map can be checked out at the library. You can also use the map in Tucson. It's really useful. Wow. Why, what what happened? Both of these were just like roadblock, roadblock, but roadblock. And uh now they're just like they're just they're just letting us through. Alright. Ness, you are a strong, tough kid. Ooh, Bolt Mouse, by the way, mentioned I'd be down for a mother one, two, three collection on Switch, both physically and digitally. Yeah, I think they'd be sweet, especially since we have you know, Nintendo isn't afraid to do stuff like uh Super Mario 3D All-Stars collection. It sucks. It's miserable that that physical edition and the digital version actually got pulled from the eShop. That is, it's, that's, that should be a crime, Nintendo. Come on. Come on. But, you know, then they did go and release Super Mario 64. Oh, there's like a flea on the ground. Good. So, that flea can't hide from us. You see that? Like, what do the trees? Um, but, you know, they, like I was saying, they, they put Super Mario 3D All-Stars collection out, and they still gave us Super Mario 64 on Switch Online. I don't think it was in the same time space, though. I think Mario 64 on NSO came later. Um, but I could see Nintendo, like, yeah, putting Earthbound still into some kind of package, like triple pack like that. Um, but I guess we also have Earthbound Beginnings on NSO, too. So maybe, I don't know. I mean, Nintendo would feel weird about it, but I would literally love it. I would love it so much. Oh, Ossian. Uh, I I feel like I must have butchered that name. Uh, oh, Ossian. Uh, just donated uh, or gave a super chat of 50 SEK. I'm le gonna learn so much about currency today. It's not even funny, uh, but we're all gonna learn together. Uh, oh, that is Swedish Krona. Cool. Uh, said hi Zian. here's a small donation for nintendo life i would just like to say you're amazing and it's a joy to watch your videos and felix and alex's that's so kind thank you thank you so much it uh it, it means a lot you know just being able to do this as a job is is really sweet and uh because i like games and i also like hamburgers as long as they're not uh real animals um but apparently we have too much stuff so we have to put we have to do we have to do something uh speaking of remake potential that is one thing that I know it's kind of like a divisive thing. It's it's one of the quirks of Earthbound. Um, but you can only hold so much stuff. You, this is your entire inventory. You've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, 14 slots total. Um, and most of them are taken up by equipment or just like items that you need to have on your person at all times. So like we have one, two, three. Okay, we've got quite a few healing items right now. Um, and... Uh, Let's just... I think cookies are pretty low. I don't think they give you a lot. Okay, well, now we have room for another burger. Um, I, so the cool thing, the flip right of all of this is I could leave that present there and the burger would be there for when we need it later. Um, or I could, you know, I eat the cookie, take it, and cool. We're, we're good. But um, I think having less items kind of makes the game a bit trickier, too, because you can't rely on just, like healing and like potion and phoenix downing like all of your your party members um but it's uh it's it's frustrating it's frustrating when you find something and you can't carry it uh, i think mother three had more inventory slots i could be wrong but as you gain party members in this game though for anyone who doesn't know you get more inventory space each character has their own like backpack essentially that they can hold stuff in so it's very real like it's not like fallout where you can just like 
you can just upgrade yourself and you can carry more stuff and not be like over encumbered or whatever they whatever the the term is um but still it's oh no and now we have a mushroom on our head i th think that messes with like our our no it's not with the direction that we walk i don't remember what the mushroom does there is a um there is a status effect that makes you walk in a different direction, like based on, like if you're pushing up, it'll make you walk down instead. I don't remember what that one is. Maybe this mole will talk to us and tell us. I'm not an enemy. I'm just a friendly mole. I'll tell you how to distinguish between your friends and enemies. It's easy to tell an enemy just by looking at them. Enemies look like humans with weird colored faces. Beware of them. However, you can't get more powerful if you avoid your enemies. Wow. Listen to that. That is, that is the realest thing I think I've heard in, in a long time. It's very true. You should always stand up for yourself, but don't get beat up. Or don't beat anyone up. Oh, shoot, the mushroom thing's happening. Yep, so look at I'm pushing down, and I'm walking to the left now. So I think everything just kind of got flipped, like, 90 degrees. Yep, okay, so now... Yep, okay, okay. All right, this is... This is, this is nonsense. <laughs> Uh, Flickasaur, by the way, in the chat says, I don't think you need a guide to beat this game, but it's cool that it's there. I agree. I think the guide uh, was, you know, it was a really cool thing back in the day to try to get people more into RPGs uh, and, to, and to allow them to, you know, like if you've played RPGs before, you'll you'll have a fine time with this game. It, it can be a little frustrating in places, especially if you're not like aware of the fact that you need to grind in, in, at times. But um, But in the modern age, I don't think you need the guide. It's not like, uh, what game is it that, uh, uh, like, like Zelda 1, like the, or Zelda on NES. I feel like you need a guide for that game. Earthbound, not the same, but I agree. Yes, it's, it's fun that this guide is so insane. Um, I bet if I looked down at this guide though, too, it probably would say something about the mushrooms in here. Oh yeah, watch out for wild shrooms. While walking around town, you might be attacked by evil mushrooms. If you fall victim to their spore attacks, you'll know it. Because a mushroom will grow out of Ness's head, and you'll lose control of him. Get to a hospital as quickly as you can, and have the healer there remove the mushroom. He'll even pay you for letting him keep the fungus. That's... That's not concerning at all. What are you going to do with the fungus, buddy? We're just... We're basically a host at this point, then. Where is the hospital, please? Someone. Someone. There's mushrooms growing out of my head. It's The Last of Us Part 3. Oh, cool. We're going to get a picture taken. It's picture time. All right. Get ready for an instant memory. Look at the camera. Ready? Say. Everyone in the chat. Say it with me now. One, two, three. Fuzzy Pickles! Wow, what a great photograph. It will always bring back the fondest of memories. <laughs> See you later. Let's see. Oh, gosh. Yeah, we need to... Is that the hospital? Nope, that's the shopping mall. All right. This, these controls are getting out of hand. The mushroom is... <laughs> it's become too powerful. Does anyone remember where the hospital is? We need the map. Oh, God. I don't remember how to open. Okay, there we go. Uh, oh, jeez. That's a walk. It's okay. We got this. Whew. What if Ness, like, passed out on the way? Or people, like, started walking up to him like, Hey, man. Hey, man. Are you doing all right? Can I help you? <laughs> Sir. Sir, you seem to be stumbling. Rambling, stumbling mushroom. I went to... Did I pass the ho hospital? I did, didn't I? Goodness. Just fall asleep behind the hospital. That, that'll that do, right? They'll find us. Hey, our controls are fine for the moment in the hospital. Is this the guy? Though you may not believe it, I'm a healer. If you have some illness that cannot be treated at the hospital, <laughs> it may it's my job to cure you. Hey, now that I notice, could you sell me the mushroom growing on top of your head? Come on. Come on. Let's make a deal. Uh, this is so strange. Thanks. I'll pay you $50 for each mushroom. All right. Let's do it. By the way, do you need any help? No. I'm good. Thanks for buying the mushroom. 
All right, I'm gonna catch up on the chat for a sec. Yeah, I've, the festival that I was at, by the way, I, did, I haven't had service really for the past like four days. Uh, and yesterday we unpacked and we like, you know, clean the house and put our stuff away. So I've been, uh, I saw Xbox, I saw Microsoft is kind of like the FTC is, I, he I heard about that this morning. Uh, but I'm just really reading. Imagine if you, Scott Pilgrim in the chat says, imagine if you'd ask your audience to just send a tweet to Nintendo requesting Earthbound. They would make it. Um, Scott, I think, uh, I, I love you, Scott. You, you're Scott Pilgrim. You, you kind of, you've done some relation, some weird relationship things, you know, I think, I hope, hope you've learned. Um, but I don't think it's as easy as um, uh, one person at Nintendo Life sending a tweet to Nintendo and just, you know, um, there's a lot of things that are involved, you know, there are a lot of jobs need to be created, uh, like a, a lot of jobs need to be focused on just that one single project to make something like that happen. So as, as awesome as it would be to just like, you know, tell a bunch of people to, you know, reach out to Nintendo, um, fan gamer back in the day, if you haven't seen, like, you should definitely dig into some of their, uh, their efforts back in the day with like starman.net um they sent so many like they they sent like physical letters and they were calling people at uh, at nintendo it's a really crazy cool story uh, and they're actually putting out a documentary i don't know if it's this year or next year that it's finally coming out but i know it's like it's almost done um but uh but yeah they they've basically tried that already with nintendo i think nintendo knows i think it's just it's just a hard task so um you know obviously i'm i'm an optimist if nobody has gathered that already. Um, but I think there are people at Nintendo that care. And all we can do is just keep trying to, you know, bring it to people's light. That's why I'm, I wanted to play the game on the stream is just to, to share it with people that haven't played it before. Or maybe don't have the time to play it or the, the mental strength to get through uh, the, the difficult parts of this game. Um, and, uh, and just to, yeah, just to share it with people that don't know what this game is. Uh, I think that's all that we can do. You know, we can keep asking Nintendo, um, but we have to do more than that. We have to, we have to play the game. We can't just, we can't just complain all the time. And not saying that you're doing that, Scott. I love you, Scott. You're great. You're a great character. I love your books. Where am I going right now? Okay, I think. Uh, oh yeah, right. We can go get a bike. We can go to the. Oh, we're in the flea market now. We are here. Uh, so I don't remember exactly. Uh, what? Uh, I don't remember what this. What? What we do here? Exactly. Oh yeah, this is Berglund Park. The boss of Berglund Park is Everdread. He's got ties to burglaries and kidnappings in this area. He's a scary guy. I think there's a crazy like mistranslation with with Berglund or with a uh, uh, Everdread. Everdread has always watched over Berglund Park. That's why we don't have to bribe any crooked cops. Sheesh. And when I say mistranslation, it's like a uh, they just changed it. They changed it different. They didn't mistranslate it. That was a that was, that was an error on my part. I came to buy condiments. I wonder what would be good. The right condiment makes a dish taste better, while the wrong one makes it taste worse. If the condiment matches the food, you will get more power than if you... You're giving us game advice right now? I thought this was just dialogue. Like, just fluff. You'll get more power if you eat the food item. So, wait a minute. We can buy condom. I, I don't remember this. Hello, would you like some seasoning to add to your food at mealtime? They're really quite miraculous. Whenever you eat something, the seasonings will sprinkle automatically. They come in these cute little packets and jars. What kind do you like? That's crazy. Can we... Oh, I don't think we even have enough room, but I would love a ketchup packet. Come again. Maybe we can... Ugh. Ugh. Those are so good. Let's just... Yeah, let's see... Can of fruit juice. If you drink this, you recover about 6 HP. Uh, drop. Someone else can drink that. Someone else is going to be walking around and be like, Yo! Is that a can of fruit juice? This lady right here, maybe. <laughs> Hello, would you like some seasonings to add to your food? Yes. Yes, 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 yes. What kind do you like? Give me the ketchup. Please, I need the ketchup. Ooh, thank you. Thank you, thank you. <laughs> of course, Everdread isn't a good person, but he's actually quite warm-hearted for a crime boss. How warm-hearted can you be? 
I sell fresh eggs. They're nutritious. Please buy this beautiful egg. Please. No, I don't have room. <laughs> you won't get through your teen years without at least one egg. Please buy this beautiful egg. I can't. I don't have room. All right. Okay, cool. So let's go... Maybe we'll let's go do some battles so we can get rid of some hamburgers. Because I would love... I would love to go buy some... Some random video games. From the flea market. Or some cool stuff. Or like one egg. I would love to buy one egg. But we just don't have the space right now. Also, yeah, we can get a bike in this town. We don't have room for a bike right now. So... I think if we head south towards Threed... We're not going to actually go to 3D yet. I think if we just go down there, we'll fight some enemies. I think. Uh, Eric in the chat, by the way, says, How many times have you played Earthbound? Through Earthbound, Zeon. Uh, so I, yeah, I started it on Wii U, probably only put in five hours, and then I got it on the 3DS Virtual Console. Uh, and here's one of the blue, grumpy enemy villains, by the way, uh, that, are, that are humans. Um... Yeah, so I played through it on Super Nintendo or on the 3DS Virtual Console once, uh, and that was the only time I've ever beaten the game. Um, and I use save states a lot with bosses, and so I'm like excited to play through it again now and see how much not easier the game is necessarily. But now that I've played it once, I think I have a bit better idea of how to play. Um, but then when I was doing the Mother We Share Earthbound documentary that we I did uh, last year. I think, I think it was last year. I don't know, time. Uh, I replayed, I think, about half the game. i just gotten Jeff. And uh, I think maybe an hour into getting Jeff, then I then I quit. Um, but, uh, um, it wasn't that I quit. It was just like, oh, documentary has to come out. Can't play any more game. Can't get more footage. Uh, so, um, so it's been, so I haven't played, I've only beaten the game once, um, but I'm excited to play more. Ooh, and we leveled up, level 12. <laughs> uh, Victini said, why did I, that, that ketchup voice sound like a security robot? Yeah, totally. It's, uh, me and a buddy, my buddy Evan, we, um, we, uh, what do we do? There was, there's like some... I don't know. He came. He did like a robot voice thing once, where you like you inhale and you talk like this, and uh, and it's just a thing. It's just a thing we do now sometimes. Uh, so I think he, he we beat up that whatever that person was, uh, whatever whatever was wrong with them. We beat him up because they they approached us. They came run, running at us, and Ness just had to defend himself, you know. But it's good. I'm curious though. Has anyone else? Anyone in the chat, have you played Earthbound before? Like, even just a yes or a no? I would love to know. Um, I, I could set up a poll, I guess. But just, yeah, let me know if you've played Earthbound before. Or if you finished it. Uh, I'm curious how many people are really here have never played it. Um, and uh, Or maybe I would just will start a poll. But I still would like to hear it anyways. That stupid slob, the Apple Kid, always asks me for something to eat. He's the inventor. He should invent some food for himself. I'm nuts about this one kid inventor. No, not that airheaded dweeby apple kid. I'm talking about the incredibly hot orange kid. I like to think that orange kid and apple kid are just secretly like just great friends. And they're like just conspiring against uh, the town and just making money and making cool stuff. Uh oh, uh oh. This looks like somebody I saw at the festival this weekend. Just kidding. <laughs> you met the new age retro hippie. Ness attacks 49 HP of damage to the new age retro hippie. Dang, Will Tank beat the game three times. Paul has played it and finished it. Uh, da, 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 da. Dragoon said they nearly maxed out my character levels. Dang, that's sweet. I never did that, by the way, but in this playthrough, maybe we can. The brightness of the New Age Retro Hippie's teeth made the enemy scared? What? Uh, Tim. Timo the Ninja said they've never played it, but have heard good things. Uh, nice. So a lot of you have played it, but I like seeing that some of you haven't too. So thanks for, thanks for coming along for this Earthbound quest. Uh, 
And Paul, thank you, by the way. Thank you for, for keeping this chat nice and nice and cool. Last night in my Japanese studies, I learned how to say the word cool. Or what, how you, yeah, just how you say cool in Japanese. And uh, I've already forgotten, but I think it was like 11 p.m. last night and nothing really sticks in my brain that late at night. Uh-oh, Cranky Lady. What do you think happened? What do you think the Cranky Lady's backstory is? Like, they look like they were either going out of town or they were going on a, like, Black Friday shopping because they were dressed up well and had a big bag. <laughs> I did go to Country Fair. <laughs> I sure did. Uh, I am going to start that poll, by the way. How do I do that again? Uh, engage with your audience. Start a, start a poll. There we go. I want to see how many of you have have you played Earthbound. I don't even care if you've beaten the game. I just want to know if you've played Earthbound before. We're just going to keep it a simple yes and no. Oh gosh, my chat. There we go. I got scared. Okay, okay. Let's keep let's keep grinding away. Oh yeah, Sugoi. Sugoi's like yay or uh very good. Is good, right? Like mm. Skip sandwich. Those are pretty good, I think. Oh shoot. Whew. Whew, whew. Mike Wazowski? Is Porter Robinson here? Porter Robinson hates Mike Wazowski. Uh, would I recommend playing Earthbound? Yes. Yes, I would. Uh, only, like... It's such a personal experience, I think. It's, like... It's a different thing for us to play it together. Because then, you know, like... It's fun to hang out with a pal and play this game, I think. Because the, there's just so many, like, jokes to laugh at. And, uh, and so many, like, little hidden things. Um, but the dialogue is really is the i think it's the reason to play earthbound because it really immerses you in the in the world um i don't remember how much skip sandwiches do they're not a full heal oh okay they give you a speed boost cool um hamburger how much do those heal when eaten you recover about 50 hp 100 percent beef uh oh um let's eat a skip sandwich because i'm just i'm curious it's it's been a while. Oh my God! Look at that screen shaking speed. Nessa, whoa, whoa, whoa! Let's beat him up. Beat him up. But yes. Uh, long story long. Yeah, I, I do think everyone should. Oh shoot, we didn't heal well enough. I do think everyone should at least try Earthbound. Um, and if it's not your thing, ooh, we collapsed. Oh no, that's okay. See, we at least we keep our HP. Um. Ness! Ness! It looks like you've gotten your head handed to you. So how about giving it another shot? Ness decided to return after summoning all the courage and energy he had. Good luck. <laughs> Earthbound vegetarian run. That'd be so great! Oh, sorry, hamburgers. Pass. I'd love to see, like, a mod of, like, Beyond... Beyond Burgers. <laughs> Be so excited. Yes! Everyone, we found a Beyond Burger! Finally! Yes! Uh, I'm gonna call Dad. We can save. And he'll let us know. Ooh, only 162? Come on, Dad. Come on. Oh, hey, Bo! Yeah! I totally agree. It is a game you want to take your time with. Uh, talk to everyone and don't rush. My first playthrough was really fun, but my second less so because I rushed it. I do agree. It's, uh, there's so much, like, packed into this world. So many little things, uh, like, that you can go back to as well. Like, once you've done something, you can go back and talk to somebody else and or talk to that same person, and you might get a, a different bit of dialogue. And uh, and it's so well written. Like, you can tell that the, the developers and the translators had a lot of fun with, uh, with Earthbound, uh, just with writing it. Um, and so, some jokes, like, didn't translate super well, so they would just rewrite them in a way that made sense for like American kids back then, something that they would understand. And it's just, it's very much a, a game like of its time. And, uh, so 70, 
70 votes came in. Uh, more than half of you have played Earthbound before. That's awesome. And less than half haven't. And that's great. There's no right or wrong result that I wanted from that. It's just fun to see. I like this. I think uh, I'm going to go back and, uh, and read this again. But so here. Oh, shoot. Okay, there we go. Okay, pop quiz. A Beatles song, blank, 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 yesterday. Can you fill in the blanks? Yes, that's correct. I'm impressed. And so they didn't, they got, they like skirted by this, like the legal ramifications of it or whatever, I guess, by not actually saying what it is. So if you could say, what is it? Anyone in the chat, what do you think? Because I don't think I asked. I don't think I said it. What do you, uh, what do you think this is? A Beatles song, blank, 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 yesterday. Can you fill in the blanks? No. It's a Beatles song. Notre Day. Psh, you got it wrong, dummy. It's Notre Day. So what do y'all think it is? Let me know. I'm going to go on a little detour. What's our health status looking like right now? Good. Let's go beat up some baddies. Oh my gosh, I forgot. We made it back up to own it. Oops. Oops, oops. Whoopsies. That's okay. And it's because I didn't save when we were in Tucson. Yeah. Gonna pick up another mushroom and make some money. The rambling evil mushroom is attacking. Ness attacks. 52 HP of damage. Dang. Ness is strong. Hey, Victini, yes, it is yesterday. The track is yesterday. Or it could be in Earthbound Land, it's Notre Day. But I believe that whole thing came up because I, I think a toy is a fan of the Beatles. I, I guess who isn't, who isn't a fan? But I think that is in the original Japanese translation. Um, the Legends of Localization book. I think it's upstairs in my bedroom right now. So otherwise I would go get it and take a look. But... I should leave a link in the description, by the way, for that Legends of Localization book. Like, just, gosh, if you're a fan of Earthbound, it's such a fun book to, to play through the game with or even just read again. Like, I'm not a big reader, but there's tons of pictures in there. And they just talk all about how the game was translated and uh, things that they kept in and things that they, they, they had to rework. It's really cool just seeing such, like, an in-depth look at, at this game from the people that made it a reality in the U.S., Mm, a ketchup packet. Yay. Paul, you're not a fan of the Beatles? That's okay. I'm not. I never got into them. I don't really, like, have any songs that I love from them, so don't worry. You're not alone. But Felix, though. Felix and his wife, Alma, are huge fans of the Beatles. They love them. Uh-oh. 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 Something's happening with the mushroom. Uh-oh. I wonder what, what what is that? Oh, no. 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 God, I can't believe the mushroom thing is still... Still really a thing. That's so great. Okay. Hospital. Where are you? No. No, Ness. Gosh, careful. You don't want to trip and fall. Ha 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 ha. Oh, no. Crazy lady. She's coming out. Oh, 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 no. Oh, no. <laughs> you meet the cranky lady. Is that a mushroom on your head? What are you doing, crazy kid? Ha. Huh? Uh... Let's let's beat this lady up with love. Oh shoot, I don't, we don't have any PP. That's all right. That's a big grin on her face. What? Why? She got some good stuff in that shopping bag. She probably does. She probably got a good deal. I can, I can respect and appreciate. Uh oh, Ness is feeling funky. What? He's feeling funky, but he just dealt so much damage. Ness gained 200 experience. I, I've not been paying attention to like how much EXP we need right now to level up. But let's see. Are we at a point where grinding isn't really going to help right now? Oh, sweet. Yeah, we should keep grinding after we sell this mushroom. So we need 63 EXP 
to level up. That's pretty... We're pretty close. Yeah, yeah, you're a healer. Yeah, yeah. Buy the, buy the mushroom. Please buy the mushroom. Dang it! $50, man. That's so good. Nothing. Don't do not do anything. Please, leave me alone. All right, now we got to go to the hotel and save. We got to call Dad and let her know we made it to Tucson. All right. Hey, Velocity. Thanks for coming. Thanks for coming to hang out. The doc, the Earthbound documentary is... Oh, my God. There's, there's a bee in my room. Are you kidding me? Hold on. There's literally a big bee. Oh, like not, like a wasp. God, like, have you seen ground bees before? Oh, why now? We're streaming. Oh, Christ. Ah, what do, um, I like, uh, I like, uh, um, okay, hold on. <laughs> I'm gonna, um, uh, okay, yep, yep, there it is. I see it, I see it. Um, okay, I'm gonna, give me a sec. We're gonna, um, I'm just gonna put it, I'm gonna put the stream on hold. I'm gonna do something. Hopefully it's not long. Jeez, why? Why now? Okay, um, hey, Paul, can, can someone, uh, like, yeah, just can someone, let, yeah, just make a, make a note in the chat. Okay, I'll be right back. Hold on one sec. Hold on. How do I, uh. Hello everyone. Uh, <laughs> uh, I'm gonna read the chat quick. I I think the bee has been taken care of, but I'm not actually sure. Um, <laughs> this is terrifying. Uh, I hate bees. It will be fine. This happened um, last year. I think our windows just need to be replaced. I think they're just not sealed great. Um, when I say I took care of it, Obviously, I tried to do something to it, um, but I don't know if it worked or not. Um, okay. Um, yeah, I just wanted to jump in because I see a lot of you are still here, and thank you. Thank you so much for hanging out. I will be, I will be back. I'm going to go away just for a quick sec again and just try to make sure that it's actually gone. 
Um, it's not Buzz Buzz. Don't worry. <laughs> Buzz Buzz did not just appear in the stream. Maybe it did. Buzz Buzz is good. Buzz Buzz meant a lot to all of us. And this is not Buzz Buzz. Okay. All right. I'll be right back. Hold on. Thank you for waiting. Thank you. This is ridiculous. This, why is this happening? Okay, yes, hello, I'm still here. Um, so I... <laughs> I attacked the bee. <laughs> I'm not proud of myself, but the bee was big and not a bumblebee. It wanted to be in the ground. And um, I can't find... I'm pretty sure I haven't found its um, remains yet. So I've, I've lifted my curtain. Um, I think I'm just, maybe it escaped. I don't know. Uh, I think I'm, I think I'm good to play the game again. Um, but, uh, yeah, I just, uh, yeah. Yeah. So, um, yeah, let me, let me, give, give me one sec. I'll be, yeah, hold on, hold on. My curtains are stupid. What a day. What a, what a professional Nintendo live stream. Am I right? Is, is this what you're here for? Are you here for this kind of, this kind of gaming? The kind of gaming where we fight things in real life? God. Why, why do I have, gosh, this is ridiculous. I don't like this. <laughs> I did not like that at all. One bit, one bit. That was bad. Okay. My gosh. 
Okay, I'm just gonna read the chat for a second. <laughs> I do not, Zach. I do not need to play B Simulator. Dude, Paul said, due to ZN removing the B, this will now continue as an as an Earth. Oh no. Gosh dang it. Thank you, Paul. You are a master wordsmith. <laughs> I'm glad you all had a lot of fun with the bee, with the bee while I was gone. Uh, yeah, who who swatted me with a bee? That's a very good point. Rhyming is fun. If you ascend, okay, all right. So hungry steak boy saying, earthbound, earthbound, earthbound. Okay, hungry steak boy saying, if you repeatedly talk to the guy by the table, he will give you fifty dollars. Is that this guy? Oh, jeez. I'm pretty sure the bee is going to resurface at some point. Because I, I, like I said, I have not seen its body. I, I'm Maybe it snuck out the window somehow. Or maybe it's like hiding in the corner of my room building a nest. Maybe it dug into the ground. But, okay, so you know those big bees that like have like a stupid tail like hanging off the back of them? Like, I'm just going to, let's see, ground bee... Ground wasp. Sorry, maybe I should have made that clear that it's a wasp as well. Oh fuck! I'm oh, sorry, 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 sorry. Language. Um. Yeah, it's if you basically if you look up ground nesting wasp. Uh, you don't have to because I don't want to gross anyone out. But at least they know like that's kind of. Well, mm, that doesn't really look right either. Maybe ground. Ground hornet. Eh, I mean, I'm seeing some pictures like it, but it's like, it's like its butt is like a lit is like on a stem, if that makes sense. Okay, I'm done. I'm done talking about it. I just, Jesus, terrifying. <laughs> okay, all right. Uh, yeah. Which which person did we talk to to get the the free money? <laughs> Thank you. Thank you for everyone for hanging. So dumb. So dumb. <laughs> Thank you, Paul. I will be careful with the words. Oh, is this the guy by the table? What? So what? Nice. Huh? Pardon? Jeez. Mmm. You're annoying. Dang me? <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> hey, you. Later days, pal. <laughs> it's so hot today dude for real i just opened the windows and like now i understand why the bees are coming out of the ground because it's a very warm day today yuck city is it cold today no no it's not oh see ya here get yourself a juice or something ka-ching ness got 50 dollars good luck okay all right, thanks, man. I had no idea. See, that is awesome. That is why I love this game. And thank you for sharing that, Hungry. I had no idea that that was, that was a part of this game. That's so sick. We got $50 from the mushroom. And this. Now, there's no way we can, like, go back to him and bug him again, right? That'd be great. That'd be really swell. I gotta get this ground hornet search off my screen. <laughs> no thanks. Did we save even? I don't know. <laughs> Let's go back. Let's go back. Uh, okay. Ness picked up the receiver. Dad, Dad, you'll never believe it. Buzz Buzz's rival came back. <laughs> oh no. No, Paul, I'm hoping we put the I'm hoping we put the bee back in the ground. It's, it was always bound for Earth. Okay, thanks, Hungry. Now I'm saving. Now we're getting we're getting the save in. Good night. Sleep tight. Okay, thanks. Ness, you like to work hard, just like your mother. Bop, bop, bop. The thing that made the hornet a lot more stressful, or wasp or whatever it was, is I bought an arcade cabinet like two weeks ago 
Uh, and I would turn and show you, but my room is a mess because of it, and I don't want to show you the mess that it is. But, uh, but yeah, I bought an arcade cabinet a couple weeks ago, and there's not a whole lot of room in this in this room, and so uh, it's a lot harder to navigate the room. And there's a lot of cool like nooks and crannies that, that like a wasp could hide in. So um, I'm basically after the stream is over, I'm gonna stay in this room and clean it until that wasp is found or until it kills me from stinging me or giving me a heart attack. One of the two. Uh, okay, so how many items do we have right now? Because we can go try to find Everdread. Ooh, yeah, we're full up. Oh, but we can heal right now with a hamburger. Ness took the ketchup packet and used it on a hamburger. It was pretty good. Ness's HP is maxed out. Nice. I did not actually get an arcade one up. Um, it is a, a project cab. Uh, so basically, it's a cabinet that it doesn't have a lot in it and needs a lot of help. So I got uh, it. It's basically like it's been painted black and has red tea molding. Um, and it was from this arcade in town that used to just do fighting game tournaments. This is Everdread for the record, by the way. Hey, why don't we chat later after we've locked horns? Oh, cr I shoot, I forgot this was a fight. Um, but so, yeah, so the cabinet has a monitor. It does not have a control panel on top. Um, it has coin doors still. It's got a marquee light that needs some fixing, but I bought some parts recently. I'm gonna try to rewire that. Um, but it used to be a midway two-on-two -two ice hockey or ice challenge or something like arcade cab which I didn't even know that was a game. Apparently it's like NBA Jam, but ice hockey. And is made by the same team as NBA Jam, I believe. It's Mid Midway published at least, and they published NBA Jam and developed it, I think. But yeah, so it's like a, it's a four player style cab, but I'm just gonna turn it into a two. I'm not gonna put four controls in there. As cool as that would be, I just don't, I don't want it to be that cramped. And so, um, yeah, so I'm gonna restore it the best I can. Um, it still has a JAMA harness in there as well, which is like the main control or is the main like wiring setup. Some of you probably know this already, but JAMA, yeah, it's the main wiring setup for m like, I don't know, most arcade boards. So it's got that in there and I was given a Mr. Do, like Mr. Do 4 arcade board, but I'm terrified to like turn it on. Um, so today I might like rewire the, the marquee tonight and see if I can get that working. Um, otherwise, uh, yeah, um, I'm probably gonna, like, maim it out or something as well. Or, like, get it set up so I can plug in, like, a switch or something like that and rewire all the controls. And, um, but yeah, I want it, I want to have it so that way I can play, like, real game boards and, um, and, like, like, emulated stuff, too. But, the next person to mention the B is getting banned. Oh, it's okay. The B was a big deal. Uh, uh, I am glad to not be thinking about the B again, but the B has to come back into my life somehow, and I'm not. I'm not stoked for it. Okay, so yeah, so this person Everdread uh, has. They know where Paula is. They said that they were going to make Paula some sort of human sacrifice. They were definitely hardcore strange. You know, she might be gone already. <laughs> You'd better hurry. If you save Paula, be sure to come back here. Okay, don't forget. This, that's dark. That is really dark. If you save Paula, be sure to come. Oh yeah, come back here, okay? Don't forget. All right, so now that we, we ate that burger earlier and we've got some space in our inventory, I think I want to go try and find the bike. Yeah, we've got four slots. I don't remember if the bike is found at the mall. I think it's kind of like in Pokemon where there's just a bike shop, I think. But it's not on the map. So we'll have to do some looking around. Maybe it's south. <laughs> Yo, I actually... I, I did... Since the cabinet is black and um, red right now... Uh, my partner is going to paint on it eventually. Is most likely the plan. Um, I would... I, as long as she wants to in the end. That's all. If she does, then that's happening. Um, but... Uh, uh, it would make a really easy, like, if I just put, like, a red N, or, like, put the NL logo on the side and, like, made a Nintendo Life, like, marquee instead, it would, it would look like a Nintendo Life cab, because the color scheme is perfect already, but, 
Um, but I think I want to make it into a Mr. Driller cab because I it was as a kid. I like I have this crazy story of like playing Mr. Driller and like wanting um, wanting an arcade cab of that at a hotel. Or I, I played it at a hotel rather, and um, so I think I want to. I think I would love to paint like have have my partner paint the side of it like like the like the uh, the things the blocks that you drill through. Uh, and just kind of make it really like cute and colorful, but uh, we'll see what happens. I will. I will keep everyone posted at least on, like on Instagram and Twitter. And unless it, if Twitter finally blows up, then I'll I'll put it on other stuff. But um, but I will update everyone there. Maybe I'll make a video. But I haven't been really documenting any of it at all right now. So it might. I don't know. I don't know what we'll do. This might just be a fun me project. You know, just, just fun with some games. Um, oh, is it next to the hotel? Is that what you were saying? North, next to the hotel. Nice. Ah, uh, the cycle shop. There we go. Every time we walked by this earlier, I uh, I was too... I was tripping around because I had mushrooms on my head, and that wasn't good. That wasn't good for good old Ness boy. This is the cycle shop. Punk, sure. Bicycles are so much fun and are so convenient. It's a lot faster than walking. You'll be really popular with the biking crowd. Do you want a bicycle? Yeah. Unfortunately, we don't have any more bikes for sale. We only have rentals. Do you want to rent one? Um, yeah. Yeah. I really like your straightforward style. <laughs> I'll tell you what. I'll let you borrow a bike for free. Ness got the bicycle. You know that two people can't ride on one bicycle? So, of course, three or four people on a bike would be impossible. Did you also know that you can't ride a bike with anything following you? Yeah, that's... Okay, so that's another thing I would love in a remake. We should make a list of things that we would change. If we were to make an Earthbound remake, what would we do? Number one, alter the, the inventory system somehow. Number two, you can't ride a bike once you get more teammates or once you hold stuff. And why can't we have, like, tandem bikes? Why can't we have something like that eventually where... You know, maybe maybe it'd be hard to navigate because we'd, we'd be like a big longer than that car with four of us. But it's a bummer that you get the bike is so fun. And to just have it stripped from us would be just painful. Look at how happiness is. You get this cool music. Look at him! Are you kidding me? That grin! What a good kid. I don't know where we're going right now, but... That is totally fine, because we have the bike. Oh, we passed that. That was probably a burger. Ah! I forgot that you could still... Of course you can get into battles. I just forgot. Ness attacks 40 HP of damage to the New Age Retro Hippie. 55 damage. Psh, that ain't that ain't nothing. Ain't got nothing to worry about here. We won! So much XP still. Oh, shoot. Where should we go? Actually, hold on. Give me one sec. Just gotta check a thing. Oh, come on. There we go. I'm gonna quick tweet out that we're playing Earthbound, because I forgot to do that. I forgot. I, I never let anyone know on the good old... The Twitter space. I should probably do that, right? That'd be a good... That'd be a good thing to do. Is, maybe if that bee... Just kidding. That would have been a good thing to do when the bee attack came in. Instead, my eyes were too fixated on my window. If anyone sees the bee, by the way... <laughs> I guess you're not gonna... The, the screen is so... So small, or my, my window is so small, but... Um, but if anyone sees the bee, 
please. Please come save me. Let me know. Okay. All right, I did it. I've done the tweet. The tweet is... It, it has been sent. The message has been shared. All right. Uh, where, should, where should we go? Oh, my gosh. We should get away from this man. Oh, no. Everyone. How many people can we get following? Nope. Dang it. I wanted to see how many we could get following us at once. That's okay. Dang. This song is great. Most of the music actually is in this game. Oh, yeah. Polestar Preschool or Apple Kid. That's right. Thank you. Thank you for the direction. Now that we beat Everdread. Oh, get away. Get away. Get away. Get away. Get away, man. Get away. Get away. Get away. Who is this? We haven't fought. This looks like... I guess it really... Oh. Something's up with this unassuming local man. <laughs> Chance of bees. <laughs> uh, I think I saw where was that uh, Jack Robbins in, in the chat here says Zeon may I ask a question how do I balance gaming and watching TV the official trailer for Ahsoka came out today and it was amazing um, that's uh, I think I kind of want to do a video on this topic at some point because um, it's we kind of live in this world where I feel like it's different than it was back in the day. Because you could read, like, a magazine. I mean, in 20 years, the kids of now are going to be saying, oh, I miss it when I was a kid, you know. It, that's always going to be a, a thing. But um, but right now, there's, like, just a, a lot of pressure we put on each other uh, to, like, watch this, play this, do this, do that. You know, like, you can't do everything. I will never be mad at someone for not playing Earthbound. Because they just, there's just too many things. You're never going to be able to do it all. I own all these games, and that's stupid. <laughs> I'm never going to play all of them. Because um, I just can't. You just can't. So, um, what I would say is just, you know, watch whatever interests you. Whatever has you excited, you know. Even if you're in the middle of a game right now, and, and or in the middle of a different show. And that, Ahsoka, like, looks so cool. Um, you should dive Okay, I see the bee again. Hold on. Hold on, everyone. Okay, I, the bee is in the house. The bee is in the house. Give me one sec. Okay, good. My capture card's still up and running. Um... <laughs> I hate this. I hate this so much. I will be right back. It's done. It is done. 
I hate it. I'm not happy. It's done. I'll be right back again. I just wanted to let you know. Buzz Buzz's arch nemesis has been defeated. I am still going to have a heart attack, but... I don't even know what to say right now. <laughs> I just don't. I just have no idea. Uh, for anyone who just came into the chat who has not gathered, uh, a bee, like a ground wasp, has been terrorizing me for the past, like, 30 minutes. Maybe it's been a day. I don't know. It's, it's, it's been miserable. Um, it's done. My water's back there. I'm going to go grab my water quick and my earthbound guide because I moved them in case of I spilled my water. Um, so everyone knows it wasn't a, a bumblebee. It was not a honeybee. It was a wasp with basically a razor blade on the back of its uh, butt. And um, yeah, it was terrifying. Also, she oh, she says, hey, hey, how's it going? We're, we're just we're streaming. We're trying to stream some earthbound, you know? <laughs> Um, okay, I'm, 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 I'm not disappearing. I'm just going to grab my water quick. Hold on. Jeez Louise. Oh my God. I love ukulele in the impossible layer though. I would, I would stream that. Everyone would watch me play and be like, this guy sucks at video games. I'd be like, leave me alone, but Impossible Air is so good. <sighs> okay. <sighs> that was nuts. I'm so glad that you were all here, by the way, to just at least, like, calm me down, because that was not fun. That was not fun. Uh, yes, it probably was a zinger from Donkey Kong Country. You are totally right. And she says, yes. Yes, you are right. Everyone, believe she says. This... Earthbound is a great game. One of the best. All right. Uh, I could be wrong, by the way, but can anyone confirm if Earthbound was translated into English within like six months? I feel like I read that in the Legends of the Lo Localization book too, but it. Uh, I, I think it. I think it got done pretty fast for like how wild and fun the dialogue is. Um, I think they did a great job with it, but. <clears throat> okay um all right apple kid where were we on the last episode of earthbound quote unquote five minutes ago we were headed over to apple kid's house well i have some sort of neglected i have sort of neglected doing my housework i know it's a bit of a pigsty but anyways i'm apple kid i haven't taken a bath in quite a while so i may be kind of stinky like the, you know, this game. You know, like, like this game, this game stinks, you know. By the way, I'm starving. Do you have something to eat? If you do, can I have some? I'm going to say no, just because I, I wonder if he's going to be able to, like, sniff out the food on us or if we'll just have to go back and do this dialogue again. Well, go ahead and make yourself comfortable anyway. You can flop down anywhere. What does the mouse have to say? I'm a mouse. No one has given me a name yet. The mouse is very, very proper mouse. Very refined. Tim, you suck at video games? Hey, 
That's all right. Honestly, just as long as you're having fun, that is that is genuinely all that matters. That is the the point of of games. So thank, but thanks for owning up to that too. Like, you probably don't suck at games, by the way. I think I don't know. I'm I'm probably being too hard on myself too, but. Oh yeah, you're right. You're right, Paul. I could have just looked at the Earthon strategy guide, and that would have told me how to take down the ground wasp. Of course, of course. I just I don't remember what page that part's on. You know. I'm Apple Kid. I haven't taken a bath in a while, so I may be kind of <clears throat> stinky. Yes, yes, yes. Sure. What should we give? What should we feed Stinky? I mean, Apple Kid. <laughs> uh, ATM card. Bicycle. Can we just feed him a ketchup packet? Do you think that would work? Let's try. Whoa! What? Oh, no! <laughs> oh! Oh! You're like that kid from Mr. Deeds. I want to get 30 packets of ketchup. You seem very nice. I wonder if uh, maybe you would like to invest some money in my inventions. Mm, yes. Yes. <laughs> Excuse me. I mean, uh, thank you. Um, by the way, I could really use like $200. Sure. Oh, oh, you don't have any money, do you? Well... Go ahead and make yourself comfortable anyways. That's fine. Is the mouse? Yeah, okay. So we gotta go withdraw some of dad's money. It's funny, actually. I wonder if we would have gave him the ATM card, would he have been like, hey, funny enough, I actually was just gonna ask you for some money anyways. <laughs> Who knew? Life hack there, or a little, little cheat. I wonder if the guide says that, like, says anything about what, to f what the best thing is to feed Apple Kid. Let's say, let's see, where is the Apple Kid? This guide is like written out so strangely. It like tells you, it gives you an order of things to do, but it's kind of, it can be a little interesting to read sometimes. Um, <laughs> the strategy guide says, the Apple Kid looks like a slob and his house is a big mess. First, give him something to eat, then give him the money he asks for. And then it tells us what's going to happen next. And I'm not going to do that. Oh gosh. Cops and dogs. Sick. Uh, let's see. Can we... Oh, we don't have enough side. We gotta go... We have to go sleep in a hotel. To get to... Uh, uh, to get to... To get our PP back. Oh, nice. Good. We're strong enough that... I don't know which enemy it was that did that, but... Ooh, shoot. No, no. That's all right. We'll get some more money. We'll take a nap. It's just fine. And we saved, so we're still going to be in Tucson. So that's good. Tucson. Tucson's ATM. Dad, how much how much you got for us today? Welcome. Welcome to the automatic teller machine. Please select a transaction. Your account currently shows a balance of $1,219. Please enter the amount of your withdrawal. Your account has been debited $400. Please take your cash. That was four $100 bills. Just came fresh out of the machine. Thanks. Cha-ching! All right, let's go stay in the fancy hotel now. Welcome to Hotel Tucson. <laughs> a one-night stay will cost you $50. Would you like to stay? Yes, have a nice stay. If you say stay one more time, like if you, I hope you enjoyed your stay, I swear. I swear. God, see, that'd be cool, actually. That's another thing I like in the remake. Every window in the game, you look out it and it says something. Something ridiculous. We don't need that, but that'd be kind of cool. How about reading the newspaper before you go? Here's the morning's Tucson's Tribute headline. Ghosts found to inhabit tunnel to threed. Uh-oh. I think that means we're not going to be able to get through there. Or it's just going to be a spooky journey. 
Good morning. Did you sleep well? I'm good. Wow, he really didn't say anything about the word stay. Aw, oh, Jack Jack says, I can see Xeon being a, a being a storyteller. Remember your backlog video you did? I do. I love that video. You watch it still every so often? Thank you. I'm glad that it is either entertaining or just helpful. Because, gosh, the backlog is just, it's just intimidating. But really, like, like I was starting to say earlier, I hope no one feels, just try to remember that no matter what, even if, like, playing games is your 9 to 5, you know, like the completionist, right? I don't. I don't think anyone's ever going to be able to play every single game. And nobody should. <laughs> nobody should try to do that. Uh, just just play the games that interest you and, and that your friends tell you about, you know, if you have the time. and um, But, I mean, the backlog video might help some people a little bit. Might just give you some, some answers, some closure. <laughs> might tell you about some new games that you should put on your backlog too. Oh, no. Uh, okay, so where are we going? Uh, Apple Kid. Apple kid, we gotta go give him some money. We're gonna ride the bike, even though it, it we're gonna be right there in just a second. Look at that kid. He's so happy. It's like an apple slice on the... Just kidding. Apple slices are like yellow. Home of Apple kid inventor. What does orange kid say? Well, we'll see. We'll check that. We'll check that later. All right, Apple Kid. Seems like you're expecting something from me. Maybe you'd like to invest some money in my inventions? Yes. Yes, yes, yes! Oh, excuse me. Uh, excuse me. I mean, thank you. By the way, I could really use $200. Thank you. I won't let you doubt. Snicker. Actually, uh, that's what Snicker is. What um, Pokey, Porky says, "I'm a mouse. No one has given me a name yet. You took care of my master. In return, I want to give you this. Please take it and say nothing." Is this the mouse key? Receiver phone. All right. right. Ness got the receiver phone. Oh, I must be in your way. Zzz. Nothing new to say. Okay. What about Apple Kid? Maybe you shouldn't spend too much time wandering around Tucson. Why not? I guess Tucson is pretty big. A broken machine. Can we give that to Orange Kid? Greetings, I am Orange Kid, the inventor. Have you heard of me? I'm a bit embarrassed about my reputation. I have a lot of inventions in development, but I'm running short of cash. I'm basically a happy-go-lucky person, so I'm not worried. You know, I'm working on this machine that would really help you in peaceful Rest Valley. I hope it's ready soon. What? You're actually willing to help finance the project? I didn't say, we didn't say anything. You just, you just said that. Oh, goody. Would it be okay to get $200 to buy materials? I guess. Thank you very much. Your support should have a tremendous impact on all mankind. Let me give you my new Super Orange machine. I call it Suporm Suporma for short. Ness got the Suporma. Please use it for spreading peace and goodwill on Earth. Okay, what does this do again? I, I forgot. I already blacked out whatever I just read. Orange Kid's Invention. The full name is the Super Orange Machine. Okay, cool. Thanks. Thanks, buddy. I'm hard at work. Don't worry. My brilliant invention will be ready soon. Okay, okay. I'll get back to work. Annoying calls from Orange Kid. Yeah, 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 yeah. Oh, hey, this is where Paula... Paula... This girl... That's where she is. she's from. I think her parents own this place. And I think she just helps the kids or she works here or she goes to school. I don't know. I don't know. Well, I wanted to play with Paula, but she's gone somewhere. Yeah, I think she got kidnapped, right? That's the, that's the deal. When I grow up, I want to be just like Paula. See, I love that. Like the just. You can, you can hear 
like you can you can hear the person while reading it. You know, they like they really they the the translators and the original like writers just poured their hearts into this game. Paul is like a mother to me. You may you may not be able to comprehend my emotions. I might have a baby face, but I possess the mind of an adult. I beg your pardon. I think there's some interesting translation with this this kid as well. I don't remember what it was, but Whistle, whistle anywhere. It makes me smile all the while. I'm Paula's mother. I'm busy taking care of these kids. You shouldn't worry about Paula. She has a guardian angel, it seems. Okay. All right. Well, sorry, Paula. We cannot worry about you anymore. What does dad think, though? Dad's probably like, <laughs> Paula, what happened to my daughter? So you want to see Paula? But he come here to see miraculous powers, but they're just leeches. So are you from a TV station or what? To meet you or not to meet you can only be decided by Paula. Paula said that she would only meet with a boy named Ness. So you're, you're, you're Ness? You're the one that was in Paula's dream. You will save the world. Let me go call Paula. What do you mean? She has a phone? She doesn't seem to be here. Oh, right, of course. I wonder where she went. I'm sorry, could you come back later? Oh god, my daughter. Where did she go? I'm sorry. I can't believe he didn't know. We we basically made him learn that his daughter's gone? Sir, your daughter. Ness opened the present. There is a teddy bear inside. Buddy has got too much stuff already. Of course! Ah, horses, of course. We'll leave it. Because if we try to pick it up... Then we won't be able to ride the bike. And I want to ride the bike while we can. Bop, 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 bop. See, that's the crazy thing. Is like, the developers put all this effort into ride, making you... Let it, letting you ride a bike. In the game. They created a theme song for it. I don't even remember if you need the bike for anything. Like, I don't think it does... Like, I don't think it... I think you can play the game without it. Maybe the guide says, actually. Let's see. Let's see. The, the guide says, when you first get to town, go to the bicycle shop that's right next to Hotel Tucson. The manager of the shop is very friendly, and he's generous, too. He'll offer to let you use one of his bikes as long as you don't try to ride double on it. It's faster than, than walking, so give it a try. Yeah. Um, does anybody know? Do you need the bike? Or can you just use it if you want, you know? I mean, I know this game went through, like, development hell for a while as well, so maybe, like, the bike had... If, if there's nothing else to use the bike for. Maybe the bike was intended to be used more, and then they were just like, they made the bike, and they were just like, uh, just leave it in. Just leave the bike in. But still, for a Super Nintendo game, this game has so many options. Would you consider this game, like, open world? Like, it's still kind of linear, but I don't know, it's just got... I guess you'd consider an RPG on Super Nintendo open world. It's not open world. Forget I said that. But there's just so much cool stuff to do in this game. Okay, so now Happy Rest Valley is that. Is it like up? Oh yeah, it is, it is to the right, right? Yo, listen up! That's probably enough to get a copyright strike, right? <laughs> what is this kid? I hear that it... I hear that a girl named Paula was kidnapped while helping out at the Polestar Preschool. You hear? All right, well, that's it. You're right, you're right. Pokemon bikes are great. I wish there was more to do with the bike in this game, but... You know, maybe a toy was like, you know... Or uh, maybe not a toy, uh, Iwata. Iwata-san was like... Remember that bike that you had in Earthbound? You should put that in Pokemon. But I guess he, Wada helped with gold and silver Pokemon. Maybe he, he probably helped some, some, somewhat with red and blue as well and yellow. But yeah, Bolt, you're right. It is, it is a bummer that the bike just basically ceases to exist. You just probably have to give it to your sister and. There you go. But what if your party is knocked out? Like, what if, what if when we get Paula, if Paula's knocked out, then can we ride the bike? 
Because she's a ghost. And she just she floats anyways. Probably not. But that'd be cool. <laughs> that'd be evil. Like, not resurrecting your, your party just so you can ride the bike. Aw, oh, mushroom. Darn it. Okay. Let's go sell the mushroom quick. And then we'll go... Oh, God, it's all the way up there. Do we have an item? Ah, I think we can use that. Crap. Uh... Um, okay, let's just go sell the mushroom. Let's go. Let's go. No, no, no. The red swirl that she says hates or loves. You might love it, but. New age retro hippie. Come on, get out of here. Stop it. We're just trying to go to the hospital. Probably wants our the mushroom on top of our head because they know it's worth so much money. That's the reason they want it, right? I would think. Oh my jeez, this is ridiculous. Pizza. Ness, I know you I want pizza too, but pizza will not heal you right now. Oh my gosh, this is miserable. No. Okay, we're almost there, I think. Uh Let's just cut through, cut through the woods here. May, may, no, okay, all right. For any, everyone who is just tuning in, the mushroom messes with your controls, and you can't walk straight anymore. Oh my god! And it constantly is changing on you. Oh, you even the cops are blue now. No, stop! Ah! <sighs> okay. Oh yeah, there is. That's right. A hungry said at the end of the end of the, the caves that we were about to go through, there is a mushroom. Or there's a person that takes the mushroom off your head. I'm going to heal with a hamburger right now. Please, 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 please. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Okay, good. I did not want to die. Also, we're gonna use Psy Love, because we haven't used that. And we've got some PP that we might lose if we get defeated by this new age retro hippie. Yes! Mortal damage. Wait, oh no, that was us. Shoot, I was not paying attention. Ah, um, at least we won't have the mushroom anymore, I think. Okay, okay, it's fine. It's fine. But our, all of our PP should be gone, right? Is that the idea? Yep, of course it is. Of course, let's call dad. Let's call dad. Ness, it's your dad. Yep, I deposited some money in your account. Uh, the mushroom controls, it like it doesn't just invert them, it it kind of like rotates them. So just imagine it like it just moves your D-pad 90 degrees. Um, and then it just keeps doing that every so often. It just keeps swapping it all around. So you basically like once you figure out what way. <laughs> I've never seen that. What? That's Paula's dad running around looking for Paula? What? <laughs> Paula, what did he say? Like, it's time for a yummy piece of pie? I'm gonna... Okay, we're gonna save state. Sorry. Paula! P -p Paula, where are you? It's time, for, it's time for a yummy piece of pie. <laughs> That's ridiculous. It's nice that Paul is dad's. He really cares. I love this little, like, blinking picture of Ness as well, by the way. How, like, they, they actually made the sprite a little bit bigger. They're both different. Of his head. If you, like, were to pause and... And look at both the big and the small ones. I wish I could... Alright, I'm not gonna do it, but... They're detailed. I think it's different than that picture, too. Maybe it is the same. Maybe it's just Ness head, but I think it, I think it's a little small. Yeah, is it anyone else seen that that uh the pie, the lovely piece of pie from Paula's dad? I I've never seen him talk about that before. That was cool. 
that's the thing, I guess, too, is, like, a lot of games have, like, tons of dialogue and lore to, like, dig into, but it's just not always, like, it's fun and engaging to, like, hear it, you know? Earthbound just hits it right on the head. It's very good. Like, you, you want to, you want to talk to everyone. You can talk to the dude in the red car. So if you stand in front of the car, oh, driving above the department store. Okay, maybe when we go back, if anyone remembers, let's check out the red car in Tucson. Um, okay, so let's let's just um, let's bash the the mushroom. See what we can do. Yeah, you can't steal our our PP. We don't have any. Oh shoot. That's what I get for not paying attention. Oh, we gotta defeat the mushroom. No, no, I got shroomed. No. Um, so we have some flowers and stuff in front of our house, and I can just see bees flying by every so often now that I have the, the curtain and blinds open, and it's just it's fun. It's really fun, everyone. Shoot, I attacked the sprout again. Maybe the sprout will just die. That'd be nice. Or we'll revert back to a uh, good sprout. Oh, no, it died. <laughs> it stopped moving. <laughs> Sorry, sprout. Sorry. We did it, but now we have a mushroom on our head. Yay. Okay, we'll get as far as we can. No! 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 Yeah. All right, we got this. Um, goods. Let's eat a burger. Let's bash the heck out of it. Nice! Smash! You know what time it is? Smash time! I wish that, like, you could be having a conversation with somebody and somebody would say, like, hey, do you want to go play some Smash? And your response is, Earthbound? Do you want to play Earthbound? And, like, they would know. But I think most people would just be like, what are you... Why? Why would you want to play Earthbound? Um... Mm, mm. Okay. At least we didn't get hit from behind. That's good. Uh, Vic, I have not watched any of Sonic Prime yet, but I want to. I would like to. Last night I was going to throw on some, like, random TV, and then I just didn't. But, um, but I should have. I should have watched some Prime. But I do actually have Thursday off of work. Um, so maybe, maybe I'll spend some of the day watching some Sonic cleaning the house or something. Ness is feeling funky. That's all right, Ness. That's all right. You got this. Let's heal up again. Get away from that sprout quick while we have the those iframes, I guess, if you want to call them that. Oh, did we defeat the... Oh, okay. Great. You know, I'm not... I'm not going to die. I'm just not going to let that happen right now. So, um, we're save Staten just for a sec. Um, okay. Goods, goods, goods. I want to heal up. Oh, no. Oh, no. All we have is a skip sandwich right now. Sure, why not? Six HP, better than nothing. Ugh. Dang it. You're right. I guess I... Right, that's a thing in this game, too, is you can you can exit a room and re-enter, and the enemies will respawn, or you could... Uh, or sometimes, like they might, or they'll they'll respawn in different locations. There might be less enemies, more enemies. Uh, does anybody know if like they just might not be there at all? If there's a chance of like no enemies appearing, because that would be that's a very good tactic. If so, oh my gosh, that is way too many. Did you see that? We like snuck behind them a bit. That's awesome, but we are almost dead. Please don't die. Please don't die. I don't want to die. I don't want to do it. 
Okay. Good. We're looking good. Ness does not have any PV to steal. Swing. No! He hit himself! Ness! Stop! Please! Stop. Okay, we should go buy some... We should go buy some items. We're gonna go... We're gonna go do a little shopping at the mall. Because, honestly, I, there's probably items to upgrade our kit with. And I have not considered that. Okay, no. We're not gonna stay right now. It's fine. We're just gonna go get some money from Dad. The Dad ATM. I should have already remembered to go and buy stuff from the, the mall, but I, I don't know, I, my brain becomes scattered, I think, like, trying to talk and, and play at the same time, which I'm, don't feel bad, that's, that's not what I mean, I just, um, I forget, I forget what I'm doing sometimes, that's all. You get fixated on a goal, and then a bee just flies into your house and, and says, I'm gonna, I'm gonna mess you up, man. You let me out of this house, or I'm I'm a, I'm gonna beat you up. Ooh, this music's so good too. I was so glad Steven and Mal uh, sang this song in the Earthbound documentary. It was so cute. This department store isn't crowded. I like that. I always feel much better after hearing my mom's voice over the phone. You know, you know what I mean. I was really homesick recently. My mom cheered me right up. You should call your mom sometime. Believe me, those melancholy feelings will be gone before you know it. Uh, yeah. Well, let's call mom right now. Let's give her a call. Give her a good old ring. I think it's going to cost $5 to call her with this one, though. I can't remember. Wait, what? Uh, this is mom on the phone? Hope you're doing all right, too. Well, I better go. I'm in the middle of my dance aerobics. Bye. Click beep, 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 beep. Thanks, mom. Um... I never call and you 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 don't have time because of dance aerobics? Jeez. Jeez Louise. I heard a meteorite crashed onto a hilltop near on it. That must have been exciting. Yum yum. Mm, I'm eating a skip sandwich. It makes you want to start skipping. I saw it on a TV ad and I just had to try one. I'll bet I can really move after eating this. Hello, may I help you? What shall I get you? Um, let's get some bread rolls. Bread roll. Thank you very much. Do you have any other orders? Yes, I will buy... No, nah, actually, we'll, we'll leave it at that for now. We have lots to lots of shopping to do. We've bumped into each other before. You seem to... <clears throat> Excuse me, what am I... We've bumped into each other before. You seem to love department stores. I do too. I don't know what that voice was. <laughs> I don't know. Hello, may I take your order? What can I get for you? Um, give me a hamburger. Hamburger? Thank you very much. Do you have any other orders? All right, thank you very much. S smile, smile. I would love to, like, live in... Like, it, oh my gosh, it'd be so cool if, if a toy would... And, like, his uh, Hobonichi team in Nintendo would do, like, a pop-up, like, art installation of Earthbound somewhere. Like, Universal. That'd be so cool. I want, to I want to visit my boyfriend in 3, except the bus won't go there. I wonder why. That teddy bear they sell over there. I heard it helps in battle. I don't know what they're talking about. It looks like a plain old teddy bear to me. No problem here. <laughs> Oops. <clears throat> happy Happy Village is getting to be more and more blue. Do you get it? Do you're wearing blue. I don't get it, though. Hello, how may I help you? Can I get you anything? Ooh, so the cool thing here in the in the purchasing system, maybe it does it in equipment as well, I don't know, but when something flashes around a character's name like that, when the, the bar does, I'm going to move this a bit. I didn't realize I was so off. Um, when it does that, you can tell that the piece of equipment um, is, uh, it's, it's better than what you're currently wearing or currently have equipped. So we're going to equip the slingshot. Yep, Ness's offense changed from 33 to 37, okay. Uh, sure, yeah, buy the T-ball bat. Thank you, thank you very much. Thank you. I don't think anything else was good there, but maybe you will have something for us. No. 
Oh yeah, that's right. Yeah, if you don't buy anything, this person calls you a loser. Are you here to just say hi? What a loser. That's funny. That's funny. Uh, I hope this mall has more... Oh no, I think that's literally it. <laughs> Is Reggie joining this stream? Mm, I don't think so. That'd be great. Reggie, if you're here, please say... Tell, please, let us know how your body is. Is it ready? Is it Reggie? How you doing? How you doing, man? How's re how's retirement been? Yeah, this game is wild. It's just... It's unhinged in a very fun way. Okay. Ugh! Hey, if we see the red car, we can talk to it. Man, if anybody watches back on this stream, like just watches the VOD, because that will be available. If, if people have missed out, you can always go back and check that out. Um, they're going to be so confused about the bee. I hope that's entertaining. All right, where are we going? I keep getting myself lost. Oh, also, I should equip the bike because it's so fast. We're heading to Blue Village. Hopefully the mushrooms don't get us this time. No, okay. There's two mushrooms right there. So so realistically, if we go back, and we go back over here, hopefully they'll be gone. Nice. Look at that. It, okay. That's not cool. That's not very nice. Just like walked, just walked a little bit further away. Okay, we're doing good. No mushrooms. Oh, what? Are you kidding me? What was that? That was ridiculous. How is that? That is comedic. That was ridiculous. What the hell? Did that really happen? It really just like popped out of nowhere like that? Okay. All right. It's fine. I love mushrooms. I love them. They're great. They're great on pizza. That's why we need to kill this mushroom. We need to make it stop moving so we can put it on a nice pizza. God, God, dang it, we got mushroomed again. I hate it, I hate it so much. Oh, geez. That's stupid. That's stupid, Earthbound. Why do you gotta be so rude? Um, I think I'm gonna heal with the burger or the bread roll. We'll just use the bread roll for now. Cool. I thought bread rolls did pretty uh, pretty decent. Ooh, Terra Enigma remastered for Switch. I've never played it. I did play Illusion of Gaia back in the day, and right, Illusion of Gaia is it Soul Blazer and Terra Enigma are like all is it the Quintet? Is that what it is? Is that the developer? Uh, they're like a, a Enix published series, right? Or maybe not all of them were Enix, but but anyways, oh yeah, because Illusion of Gaia was Nintendo published. That's right. I forgot about that. Um, but yeah, we never got Terra Enigma in the States. I think it came to Europe, but it never came to America. And it'd be really cool to hit, see that. Um, yeah, I can turn game music up just a little bit. Yeah. I tried to kind of balance audio before, but it was uh, it's a tough, tough thing, tough thing to do. And I'm not, like, monitoring my own audio. Um, oh, crap. <laughs> it's okay. It'll be fine. Treasure Hunter G. That sounds familiar. I really want Marvel... What's it called? Is it Marvelous? The... Um, uh, A.G. Aonuma game? I think he worked on it with a couple... I think he co-directed that game. Or just... I mean, definitely co-developed it. But that was on Super Famicom. And, uh, Marvelous, like, Treasure, I think it's something. I can't remember what it's called. Uh, but, uh, I would like to play that. I think I watched a Did You Know Gaming video about it, I think. Oh, cool, here's Mushroom Girl. Dang it, I just went back. Oops, okay. Hum dee dum dee dum. I'm hunting for mushrooms. Hey, would you be willing to sell that mushroom on your head for like fifty dollars? 
I can't believe she still was willing to buy it. I thought she was just gonna be like, yoink, thanks. Thank you, such a great mushroom. I'm so, so happy I got it. Humdy dum, I'm hunting for mushrooms. I'm gonna collect a ton. She's collecting them like a kid collecting pogs in the 90s right now. No, I'm not dealing with that. I'm not dealing with that uh, that UFO right there. All right, we ain't doing that right now. All right, I guess we are. I'm not an enemy. I'm just I'm not an enemy. I'm just a regular mole. Would you like to know about how to survive battles? Sure. You may have noticed that. <laughs> well. When you've been badly damaged and hurt in battle, you may survive a mortal attack and still have one HP. If this happened, it was because of your guts. Your survival may depend on your guts level. Also, more guts helps you get more smashing hits. Beyond guts, you should have noticed that it takes some time for damage to be taken from you. This is because of the rolling action of your HP meter. I mean your life. If an enemy deals mortal damage to you, but you defeat all enemies before your life is gone, you survive. This is all I know. Oh my god, well, how, how did that happen? Oh jeez. Uh, I do really like the rolling effect attack in this game, or uh, the rolling HP. It's It makes it kind of a fun race to try to beat the enemy or heal yourself before, before, uh, before your damage goes down. Yo, I honestly feel the same Brego wine. I uh, I think I think it's very fair now that we have a Super Mario RPG remake coming that like you know I I think everybody thought that Mario RPG could not happen uh, and it's really cool to just see Nintendo of Japan or who, I don't know who's whose idea it was uh, to make that you know or who spearheaded that movement to make that that game come back within Nintendo you know or within whatever third party it is that's making it maybe it is Nintendo I don't know but. Anything is possible. You just gotta have time, patience, and the right the right people working on it. For some weird reason, a pencil-shaped iron statue is blocking the path. I think that's what our broken machine is. The broken machine, there's no way of knowing its original use. It's just some kind of broken gadget. That genius Jeff should be able to fix it sometime. Oh, right. Right, okay, so. I think maybe we use the receiver phone? Oh, right, because it, oh, that's right. It only receives calls. You can't make calls with it. That's amazing. Ooh, a butterfly. It's a magic butterfly. It heals us, and I think it gives us a bit of PP back, too. Yay, we got 20 back. Anyone remember a game from the late 90s where you could play as a male or female? The girl has long pigtails and fights with two huge golden rings. It's a side-scroller, and I cannot remember. Ooh, I love this game. I love... Well, not... I don't know what that game is, but I love the game of trying to guess what something is. Uh, I don't have any idea what that is offhand. Uh, do you know what console it would have been on? Celest Celestial? Was it handheld? Do you remember playing it on a Nintendo platform? Ah, uh, and yes, we will we, we will head back to Apple Kid now. Girl has long pigtails. I'm only thinking of like Sword of Mana on Game Boy Advance right now. Um, but I don't think that's right. And that was that would have been early 2000s anyways, I think. At least yeah, the American version. Yeah, what if Smash, whatever the su Smash successor, if we ever get that, it'd be really cool if Gino was just like day one or like in the DLC, like first DLC pack or something like that. It feels possible. It's getting a remake now, so let's, jeez. Yeah, I agree. Klonoa also kind of popped in my head because of the rings. Uh, or I guess Klonoa has one ring, but I don't think there was ever a Klonoa where you play as a female-ish character that I could that I could think of. But ooh, yeah, that's a good question. Uh, Celestial, was it? Uh, was it? Oh, it was PS One. You said okay. Um, hmm. 
And there's a side scroller. I'm like looking at my shelf now just to make sure that like I'm not forgetting something very obvious, but I don't know. PS1. Hmm. Yeah, was it was it 3D sprites or um 3D models or was it uh like pixel pixel art sprites? Hello, this is Applekin. I've just finished working on this great invention. Get over here as fast as you can. This thing is so cool. See you soon. Slam. Beep. Ooh, another magic butterfly. Wow. The odds are in our favor right now. It's great. Stay away. Ooh, look at that. That was... We slipped away like butter. Okay. So we have to go west. And then south. Oh, Chrono Cross. That's right. The girl... The girl in Chrono Cross, does she have... The, I know the guy has like a dual... Like a a blade. Like a, like a bow staff with two blades on each end. And then the girl, I think she fights with rings, and she has a single ponytail, I think. I could be wrong. But yeah, was it was it maybe just Chrono Cross instead? Where's Apple Kid? Didn't he tell us? That was Apple Kid who called, right? Oh, but here's Orange Kid outside. Oh, cool. I bet this Apple Orange Kid probably tell us that. Are you looking for that so-called genius Apple Kid? As a true genius, I'll tell you that he's in Berglund Park looking for you. Why is he over there? He told us... Did he tell us to meet him there? I forgot. Threads of Fate. I've seen that game around. That sounds... That sounds like it. Look that up, Celestial, and let us know. Uh, okay, where's Berglund Park again? Ah, just a bit north. Just a wee bit north. There are mud magic butterflies everywhere. How is this happening? Oh. Oh, do the magic butterflies actually only restore your... your PP? And then you can heal yourself if you want? That makes sense. All right, Apple Kid, where you at? Where you at, boyo? Ah, oh, there he is. Also, I didn't even consider. Maybe we can... Uh, maybe we can get some cool equipment from the people in the flea market here. Or maybe we can just buy some bananas. When you, when you want to eat bananas, I'll be here selling them. Oops, I, why did I click? I didn't even click buy. Oh, sweet. Oh my gosh, that's expensive. That's fine. Let's let's do it up. Copper bracelet. Let's see if the strategy guide says anything about buying the copper bracelet. Mm, it doesn't really mention any, anything that I'm seeing about what to buy at the flea market. Ah, it's Threads of Fate. Well done, everyone. Who is it that mentioned it to? Dragoon? Nice, Dragoon. Yeah, that's sweet. Magic butterflies all, always restore PP. Okay, cool. Thank you. Threads of Fate. That's awesome. Yeah, I never I never played it. I think I might have had it at one point. Um, but that's great. Also, I think I just... Oh, we're getting a phone call right now? Hey, it's your dad. You've been out there for a long time now. Maybe none of my business, but don't you think it'd be a good idea if you took a break? No, Dad. Come on. I didn't even equip... Look at this cool bracelet we just got, Dad. Come on. Didn't even get to equip it. We have nothing on our body right now. That feels like a crime. Oh my gosh, a decade of trying to find that? No way! That's amazing. I'm so... I mean, I'm sorry you've been searching for it for so long, but that's so sweet that Dragoon, like, just knew. That's awesome. What did you just ask if we wanted to buy, by the way? Okay, what is this again? 
I own an antique shop. No one is buying or selling anything. So I was thinking of selling the for sale sign that sits in front. Oh my god. Um, I don't actually know what happens when we do that. So sure, let's buy it. If you want to sell something, use this for sale sign. Customers will flock to you. What? What happens? Is it only in the park? Okay, let's let's go try to set up shop like uh, right here. I really don't remember what happens with this. Help! For sale sign. It invites people to come and buy your unnecessary goods. Can be used many times. It said a customer was heading this way. Wait! Someone is already heading this way. Wait for them. Okay. Do we actually have to wait? Oh my gosh. <laughs> Hi, how are you? Is this a tool shop or something? That's the bike guy. What are you selling anyway? Um, what do we sell? We so would it be funny if we sold them the bike? I'm not interested in one of those. Can you show me anything else? How about uh, the cheap bracelet? A cheap bracelet? I'd offer about 49 for that. Is that is it a deal? Yeah, uh, yeah. Thanks. I have to say it was well worth my trouble to come out here. That's how I feel sometimes when I go to flea markets. Uh, do we have anything else we want to sell? Mm, what does the ruler do? Ruler. You can even use this during battle. Can be used many times. I don't remember at all. That's great that the first for sale sign worked. So did the first sa for sale sign help you? Yeah. I was the one that sold it to you. I, we were, we just bought it. We remember. I like to sell my goodies on the street. Sure. Flies land on them, but in my opinion, it makes them taste even better. <laughs> What would you like? None of that. Got any equipment? Is this like an honor system, like flower stand? Is that what this one is? It's alright. We'll give that item back to Paula, the for sale sign. It was great. I love that it's so stupid. In a very charming and unnecessary way. Yes. Alright, let's talk to... Ooh, look at the mouses out here. I'm a mouse. My master applicant has been waiting for you. We started in a not, not off while waiting. I'm feeling really out of it. I, I feel really out of it because I've been working all night. But finally, the pencil eraser is ready. This machine will eradicate all pencil shaped figures in just one second. It's incredibly powerful. Just don't use it near a shop that sells pencils. <laughs> Here, it's yours now. Thanks, man. Ness got the pencil. Ness got the pencil eraser. If I invite some other brilliant, if I invent some other brilliant item, I'll call you. Thanks, Apple. All right, let's go eradicate the pencil. Are we healed enough yet? I think we're. I think we're pretty good right now. Yeah, we're good. We're good. We are golden, Pony Boy. Oh my! Are you kidding me? What are you doing, macho man? Get out of our way. Let's get some PP back since we used some to heal ourselves earlier. Oh, sweet. That's cool. That I, I like the idea of the for sale sign. Because instead of just dropping some items on the ground, then you can sell them and get money instead, right? Of just throwing them away. So that, that's pretty cool. I didn't realize that you would be able to use it from far away. That's sweet. Oh my gosh. I would love if you could use the ruler to like uh, take down Gygus instead. Maybe that is a thing. I don't know. Turn Ganondorf loves or hates fishing rods, so maybe Gygus hates rulers. Let's see, what does the what does the guide say? Oh yeah, wants us to try out the pencil eraser. So I think it's getting very warm in my room. It's so warm in here. So that's probably why the bee came out of the ground. Um, so I think we'll play until we defeat Car Painter. I think that seems like a pretty safe, safe spot to get to. Um, but I think that means we probably have like an extra, an another hour left to play. 
especially if I keep dying. <laughs> Gygus hates measuring things. I love that. All right, we're making it through. All right, just a couple of these, that's fine. That's fine. As long as it's not more mushrooms. I guess the girl is outside too, waiting to buy our mushrooms anyway, so it's not, it's not too big of a deal, if it were. Ba, 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 ba. The mobile sprouts. Oh, don't worry. I'm not going to leave. I'm not going to leave now. I'm going to hang out for a while. I just want to let you know where we're, what our goals are, our aspirations for the stream, or at least mine are. Psy Magnet, quit it! Those butterflies, they did so much work for us to give us all that PP. It was very nice of them, and you're just ripping it away. What are you even going to use it for, huh? Stop it! Stop it! It'd be cool if when you defeated the Sprouts that they gave the PP back, but that'd probably be too... That'd probably be too cheaty. But you know how, like, in a... There's certain games where, like, some something will steal an item from you, and if you defeat them, then they'll they'll give it back. At the end, or they'll, they'll drop it or whatever. We're going to use Psy Love. Or PK Love. Is PK... I forget, what is... Is that what they just refer to it in... In the Japanese version, is it PK? Does anybody remember? Or if it's Mother 3? Or Earthbound Beginnings? I forget where PK comes in. I would imagine it stands for Psychokinetic. But... I don't know. Ah, pencil eraser. We don't need that, right? Broken machine. That's fine. We'll leave the croissant. I don't remember how much those heal. Probably a lot. I'm probably going to regret that, right? Oh, no. We don't have enough to heal either. Thankfully, we have the hamburger. And hopefully, there will be a magic butterfly outside. Oh, come on, sprouts. Come on, little guys. Stop it. We were going to immobilize you. Maybe that's why they're called mobile, I guess, because they walk around, right? <laughs> I didn't even think about that. Psy Magnet. No! No! 70. That was sweet. What level are we now? We have to be pretty high, right? Okay, let's see, let's see. Status? 15. Ah, uh, Bolt Mouse. Happy birthday again. Thanks for coming by and hanging out. Thanks for spending some time with us. For your birthday. I hope you had a good one. I hope it was very good. I love this man just standing over here. Clearly there's no problem here. Nothing to worry about. We're going to fix that bridge eventually, though. Wait, is there a butterfly down here? Or is there just the evil UFO? Yeah, we've got nothing to eat right now either, right? What does this do? Saporma? Oh, yeah, that's Orange Kid's invention. Oh, yeah, the fact, by the way, another thing we I would change in the remake. You can't move around your inventory. The only way you can do it is by... You can, like, swap items between... Uh, your party members and you can kind of reorganize things that way but it's so annoying I hate it so much but I do love this game still it's just a it's a little it's a little nitpick it's a little thing Ness used the pencil eraser for some reason the iron pencil statue was erased ah Oh, I would have, Chris, I would have sold the croissant, but I didn't have enough room for it when I got it from the enemy. 
So I had to drop it, unfortunately. That was all. Oh, cool. It's a picture. It's a picture time. Everyone break out your pickles. Pictures taken instantaneously. I'm a photographic genius, if I do say so myself. Okay, get ready for an instant memory. Look at the camera. Ready? Say, fuzzy pickles. Wow, what a great photograph. It will always bring back the fondest of memories. I hope so. I should probably screenshot all the times that we get photographs in this game. In this stream. And then, and then share them at the end. Oh my gosh, you see that tree? What gives? Get out of here, tree. Oh no, look at that. That's like they're they're waiting. That's like a that's like walking through a bad alley and you see like a, a horror villain down there and you're just like nope. Nope. Like a flickering light. It's like no oh, come on. How did it it just got worse? That was worse. Oh, a butterfly though. That's that's great. That is great. Okay, so let's get it together. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Life up. Okay. Oh, I did do that. Did it, the real Sean W. Stewart. I do remember Mother 3's... Actually, let's, let's just fight it. There's just one. I do remember Mother 3's inventory being a lot better, but I couldn't... I couldn't remember why. Okay. Let's just, um... Sigh love... PK love. Let's just uh If it if it summons another sprout, then we will rip it to shreds with love. Okay, good. Oh my gosh, and the second one didn't even get us. That's great. Oh, that was that was cool. That was very cool. I liked that a lot. Oh no no no! I don't wanna! I don't wanna fight him! I don't wanna do it! Ugh, fine. We'll fight the little UFO. Just only that's it. Fight that UFO. Little UFO. It's like part-time UFO. But this one is just trying to kill us and steal things from us. Oh, yeah, Paula does. That is kind of a weird thing, isn't it? Like, Paula should be level... It'd be cool if she just, like, matched whatever Ness's level was. All of the party members, whenever you pick them up. I'm pretty sure all of them just start at one, which is... It's kind of fun to, like, grind and, like, level them up. Because they level up pretty quick, but... Yeah, it's annoying. It's annoying for sure. How does everyone else feel about, like, having a balanced party? Like, does it drive you wild when in, like, a game? Like, like Pokemon, for example. Or, I don't know. Like, when, when a character dies in your party, and then they don't get experience, and they're, like, three levels lower than everybody else. Does that drive you bonkers, or is that just me? I, like, I can't stand it. Oh, no. That's, that's, that was not, that was not fun. A oh, present. It's a present. It's a travel charm inside. Oh, come on. Okay. Let's uh, let's see. Oh, the luck capsule. That will just raise our luck, I'm pretty sure. Luck capsule. It increases your luck when taken. Yep. Give us that. Drank the luck capsule? I don't know you drank capsules. Who knew? Not me. Okay, let's see. Where does the travel charm even go? Oh, I'm, that's sweet. But wait, it doesn't really... What does it do? It didn't raise our stats necessarily, but it has to do something. Must be equipped on your body. It protects you from para being paralyzed. That's cool. Mm, get away from me. Little... Evangelion-esque angel. I would love to not let the third impact happen today in Earthbound. Please. Ooh, Pooh starts at level 10? Okay, that's cool. 
full-time UFO. That's great. Okay, okay. We're, we're doing good. That is a sprout over there, right? That has to be. What else would it be? Okay, yeah, it, it was a sprout. It's gone now. GG. Ooh, a present. And we have no room. No room. Uh, I want the... We will, we will get back through here. Once we get Paula, we have to go back through this. Oh, gosh. This area. And so we can just make another trip. We can get that present later. Oh, jeez. No, no. What have I done? This looks miserable. It's going to be so many enemies. Oh. Okay. That's not so bad. Oh, you little. You little. Baby tree. The thing who has aspirations of being something more. We're going to stop you right now because you stole. You stole the PP. How dare you. All right, what's in here? A croissant. I don't know where to go now. I, all right, hey, right, we have the strategy guide right here. Okay, let's see. Where are we roughly? Um, okay. Oh, there's another bridge we have to walk across. Okay, all right, I got this. We need to go east a bit. Yeah, so there should be a bridge right here. Nice. Oh, no, 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 no. No, no, no. Let's re-roll those. Let's re-roll those dice. Okay, okay. We're doing all right. I think I think this is the way we go. I actually didn't look at the strategy guide more. I was just like, oh, there's the bridge. Let's go. Let's go. The fully grown trees are the worst enemies here. They explode and deal massive damage. Yuck. Yuck city. I am, I am glad we have not fought one yet. Hopefully when we do, hopefully we have Paula and we have more strength. Get away. Avoid the territorial oaks. You know, we're just, we're just gonna stop this as quick as possible. Oh no, it didn't work. What? Well, now I'll know not to. Oh my god. And I have a cold now? Are you kidding me? What is this game? How is this happening? It's ridiculous. Oh no! Are you... No. No, no, no. This is not okay. Um, I don't know if this will work because we have a cold. Okay, all right. I'm not. I'm not here to reset all the time. I'm. I'm not gonna make a habit of that. But we are doing that right now. We are save stating. Uh, I'm waiting for an important call today, so I had to check my phone for a sec, and it has not come through. That's okay. But that's what almost got me killed. Uh, okay. So no sigh love. One more attack the little UFO. Oh, we should heal up then too. Oh, good. Good. Blew it to smithereens. No problem. So I realized I might be a little dark lighting wise. I forgot to turn my light. Whoopsies. After the bee. After the bee attack, you see? Okay. Let's heal. Or life up rather. They should call them L points, life points, in this game if they want to call it <gasps> call it uh, life up. I love that the snakes are afraid. What's wrong? What's wrong, you little tunnel snakes? Huh? Okay, just gonna sneak on through here. Don't mind me. Uh, yep. Oh, please, please, please. Okay, thank you. <laughs> that was fun. Uh oh, we're in. What is this? Happy, happy village. Happy, happy village. Welcome to Happy Happy Village. Hmm. No problem here. Oops. I am not your enemy. I am just a plain old mole. You are certainly stronger than you were while wandering through Onet. 
Have you ever suddenly gotten the you won message? When you meet a weak enemy, that's surefire proof that you've become stronger. You don't want to waste your time fighting wimpy enemies, do you? Hmm. No, 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 no. No, we don't. Oh, uh, this lady is one of my favorites. Excuse me, tourist. I'm collecting donations to help protect the world from contaminants. Donate whatever you can. I'll be your shadow then when you tell her no. And by the way, I didn't even talk to her. She just like came up and she just follows us around now. Also, shoot. Here comes the happy, happy village cultists. Goodness. Good thing we got the fence to stop them. Thank you, fence. You're the real hero. Oh my gosh, she doesn't... Does she ever leave? I don't remember. What if we donate like one dollar? Actually, no. I ain't doing that. Does she ever just stop though like on her own? I'm curious. No, it doesn't look like it. Like She gets stuck, but... She's really obsessed. Goodness. Get away, lady. All right. Does anybody know, is there a place here where we can save in this town? Does that exist? Because I really don't want us to die here. Oh, yeah, we don't have a map yet. That's right. Yeah, I really don't want us to get knocked out. Oh, yeah, this guy, he's funny, too. <laughs> So he talks about, yeah, he went and painted painted everything blue like he was supposed to because this town is is uh, it's kind of being possessed by uh, a terrible, a terrible man. And uh, he's telling everyone basically to paint everything blue. Uh, Northeast is the drugstore. OK, I'll head there. Um, and uh, but this man, he talks about like, oh, when I painted everything blue, my wife came back home. And there's a fun thing that happens. Well, it's not fun. It's miserable, but it's funny. Okay, let's see. Drugstore, drugstore, drugstore. Oh, that's okay. We can we can pay for the da pay for the payphone. Record, save, save, save. Thanks, Dad. Yo, Dad, listen up. <laughs> Thanks, Jeff. Oh, you mean like this? We can just save like this? Perfect. Click, beep, 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 beep. Oh, they have better gear, gear here too? Cool. Yeah, after this, I'm gonna rush just straight in because I actually did get that call that I was wondering if I was gonna get. It just came through now. Um, so I'm going to... Yeah, buy as much stuff uh, as possible. Or buy buy some cool gear. Oh, we have to go find Paula first. Okay. Oh, no, never mind. I'm sorry. Mm, let's see, let's see, let's see. Reading the guide. Well, let's let's go into the into the the cultist house and see what happens. Um Okay, so we'll get that hat. That looks good. Oh no. Um, what do you want to sell? I don't, I don't have anything that I can sell. Everything is like a key item. That's miserable. Okay, so what we can do is we can call Paula, or uh, not Paula, we can call our sister. We can ask them to come pick up some stuff from us. And Tracy will hold it in the inventory for us. Okay, so if we just go outside, I think then they'll they'll show up. The ruler, the ruler's the best item to have them hold on to. So now, correct me if I'm wrong, but we, we need to go find Paula now, right? And then go do the Happy Happy Village store? Or the, the, um, the cultist house, is that right? That's fine. Take the ruler. Take the ruler. Yes, take the broken machine, because Jeff can fix that later. And let's see. Um, I mean, the bicycle is going to be obsolete soon. So, yeah, just take the bicycle, too, I suppose. The ruler, the broken machine, and the bicycle. Yes. 
We'll miss you. We'll miss you, bicycle. Oh, the, the orange machine, too, is useless? Dang. <laughs> well, that's a good point. We will need the ruler for later. For later in the playthrough. We'll try it against Gygus and see what happens. I'm looking forward to that. Um, okay, so we've done that, and we saved. And so now, I don't remember which way it is to get to Paul. I'm guessing it's this way, but... Whale oh boy, that's not fun. Oh right, we need to go, um... We're gonna buy some more equipment. That's right. Meowth, that's right! Alright, what you got? What was that? Oh, the Sandlot Bat. Cool, I completely missed that item. Yeah, take that slingshot off our hands. Um, can you buy... Or we can buy the Holmes hat as well. Yes, equip it here, please. Oops, shoot. Yes, sell that. Let's sell that hat. The desert section. Uh, no, we did not. That That's pretty far off, I think, still. It's probably going to be a couple play sessions before we before we get to see that. Nine Gs. Yeah, take it, take it. Okay, cool. So it looks like we're going to have to go fight some happy, happy cultists. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Oh, that was quick. First one right away. Ah, uh, let's just beat him up. Let's see how much damage can we do to him, Sonny? Fifty-nine. Wow. Maybe one more hit and they'll go down. Nice. Done deal. Ooh, only one in the in the cave. That was great. One million dollars for the hat? Shoot. Uh-oh. There's some spiteful crows hanging out. Is that, is that what you call these? Is that what they are? I forget. Spiteful crows. Yes. These should be pretty weak, right? Because we fight them at the beginning of the game. Yeah, I was kind of forgetting about that too, Vic. Like... Are they cultists? Are they acknowledged as that? I forget, but... Oh, they're happy happiests. At least that's what the strategy guide says. Oh, nice. The spiteful crow flew away. Paula! Oh, my gosh, she's freaking out. She's losing it. Paula, Paula, calm, calm down, Paula. Please. Who? Are you Ness? Ness, I'm so glad it's you. I had a dream that a boy named Ness was my destiny. I know it's hard to believe. Therefore, I I knew you'd rescue me. If you didn't come, I would have had to try to bust out of here. You can't open the door. You'll have to get the key from Carpainer. He's got it hidden away. I heard Carpainer can control lightning. In that case, you should wear this Franklin badge, okay? Ness got the Franklin badge. I'll wait here until you return. Come back here and get me out once you defeat Carpainer. Don't worry about me. Just kick butt like I know you can. Heck yeah, we will. Where's the Franklin badge? Uh, it's probably like a... Is it an other item? Where is it? Where does it go? Oh, maybe it's just having it in our pockets. Helps us. Franklin badge. By keeping it on... Or keeping it as one of your items, it deflects a lightning attack back at the attacker. Awesome. Oh, shoot. There's Porky. Hey, Ness. You're... Hey, Ness. You're just here to bother me, aren't you? You can call me Master Pokey. Since Mr. Carpainer made me an important person in happy happyism. You should join us, but I know you won't. I'm just glad I joined. I'm not going to fight you, but these guys will. Later. What did he call us? Later what? 
Oh, the insane cultist. All right, this calls for some PK love. Uh-uh. Paint us all you want. You ain't changing our hearts. That sounds like something out of Kingdom Hearts. Change us all you want, but you're not changing the color of our hearts. Did that do any damage? I was too busy looking at the other screen. <laughs> Okay, good. Nice. But the crow it might not do anything to? Is that what I was reading? Oh, sweet. Done deal. Oh, cookie. We should just eat that right now. Because that, that will heal basically nothing. There he goes. There goes a little prick. Oh, we have two cookies. Let's just eat them both. Those are not worth keeping around. Yeah, I'm glad, uh, Walrus, I'm glad we're, yeah, we're level 15 now. Pretty decent. Pretty decent. We've only done two streams, by the way, and we're already so, like, I mean, we're not that far, really, in the game, but... Uh, but we're making good good progress. So I believe this is the house. This big big house. Uh oh. Oh oh, Dios mio. Blue blue. Oh, you'd like to come be one of us? Then give up what you're doing and go meet the great Mr. Carpainer as soon as possible. Yeah. So here they are. This is the the happy happiest house. So basically, this is kind of like a big just puzzle where we have to walk around and try to figure out who's blocking the path. I can't remember if it's true, but I think sometimes they might fight you. Oh, speak of the devil. There it is. The insane cultist trapped you. Oh, yeah, well, good thing we have a new baseball bat to beat him up with. <laughs> there we go. That's what they get. Ha, 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 ha. Uh, I like the level up music. Level 16 now. Nice. Okay, so I'm going to... Oh, a croissant. Let's just heal up first, actually. We'll save the croissant. So sometimes you'll get put, like, turned in a direction that isn't the way you're supposed to go. So, like, this, that might have been a dead end. Okay. Blue, blue, what are you saying that I'm... What are you saying? Wait, or what? Are you saying that I'm only capable of walking in place? That's not true. See? <laughs> green, green. Oops, that, that's, that's, that's not it. Uh, I'm, I'm still new to this. I, li I like that because it feels so human. Like, if an entire town joined a cult, like, in a week or whatever, like, they they would just make mistakes <laughs> like that. Because some of them, like, would be really into it and some of them probably wouldn't. And, uh, they're just going to goof up. Blue, blue, you strange unmasked fellow, don't go to heaven. I forgot about that. That's intense. And they trapped us. No thanks. No, thank you. That's gained 353 EXP. Uh, Hungry asked, did you mean to, to put the blur filter on yeah i have the crt filter on in the s settings um i was gonna say i forgot i think you have to adjust those settings on the in the game itself but yeah i have the crt settings turned on which by the way if anybody doesn't know oh god oh god i forgot to save I forgot to save. No. 
Ah, uh, okay, well, I'll just show you what I was gonna show you anyways. Uh, dang it. Dang it. Oh, that's miserable. Oh, God. It's fine. Crap. 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 No. No. Ah, I was like, oh, it's fine. I'll just dip out of the menu. Like, it's a home menu. Just like it's a home menu. Ugh. Why did I do that? Okay, all right, it's fine. It's fine. I only have to call Escargo Express again and have them pick up some stuff. It's totally fine. Just drink some water, Zion. Everyone, hydration break. Earthbound sticker. Oh, that's miserable. Oh, we were almost there. We were literally almost done with that place already. I can't believe that. What I was trying to say was that in the settings of the home screen, not that one, of this one, once you go back to game selection, there's a setting that you can adjust where you can turn on a CRT filter and it makes everything look like you're playing on an old school like tube TV. And I really like that a lot. So that's what's going on right now. Good gravy. I can't believe I did that. Hopefully I don't make that mistake again. All right, Escargo Express, you claim to be fast, but how fast are you? Did I even successfully call them? Okay, good. There they are. Your delivery charge is $18. Yep, 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 yep. Take the stuff, take the stuff. Okay, okay. Um, Take the broken machine. Take the ruler. And there was, what else did I give last time? Um, is the pencil eraser done? I don't know. Oh yeah, bicycle. That's what I gave last time. That's a very good point. Thanks. Thanks for the, uh, thanks for the silver lining. I appreciate that. Cause now we'll buy some stuff and we will save again. Sandlot bat, equip. Yes, buy the slingshot, please. Okay, what would you like to get? Um, the Holmes hat. So now we have to go see Paula, right? We need to go see Paula, and then we are going to. Then we'll go back to the happy happy, because I don't think we've. Yeah, I don't think we've seen Paula yet. Oh, look at that. What a breeze. That's nice. Spiteful crows, though. Stay out of the way. Get out of here. Okay, Paula. Who? Are you Ness? Yes. I wish there was like a, there was a fast forward button. That would be great. Okay, got the Franklin badge. We know we don't have to equip it. And Porky, or Pokey, is going to be outside being a grump like usual. Like he does. Hey, Des, you're just here to bother me, aren't you? You can call me Bastard Pokey. True. I'm glad we didn't have to fight another cultist in the cave there. That was, that was nice. Didn't have to worry about it. We know we're going to use some PK love and uh, and remove the masks, the brainwash helmets from these people. I wonder I want to know what the lore is between like how did this happen? I don't actually remember the the like the backstory behind why all of these people decided to join this cult. Um, I know Mr. Carpainer is the problem. I don't know if he's the mayor or if he's just a person. I don't remember what he is. But I'm curious, why? Why did all these people join this cult? I imagine Gygus, right? Uh, I think the car painter is like, I know Gy Gygus, I think Gygus is involved, right? I could be super wrong though. I don't remember. Okay, there he goes. There he goes, you little, you little jerk. Excuse me. 
Delta Traveler. I've never heard of that, no. It's a fan game, though? That's cool. I do like Delta Rune. I did play chap or part one and part two, or chapters. Hey, we got to save. What am I doing? <laughs> also, I'm in a save state as well. I'm just going to do that right now. Um, which one is... So yeah, some of these are from when I played Earthbound last year for the Earthbound documentary. So we will just use... Um, we'll use save state two. That seems like a safe bet. That's picked up the receiver. Dad. $71. Nice, Dad. Thank you. Thank you so much. Thanks for the dollars. We already know what you have to say, though, Dad. So, sorry. We gotta we gotta run. Okay, okay. So, now we go to the house. And we're gonna tear down that blue paint. Basically. The music is so eerie here. I kind of... It, it does... It's effective. I just don't, I don't like it. I don't like it. Okay, so now we know we don't have to fight all the dudes either. We can go this way, I think. Oh, close. Blue, blue, don't bother us. Okay. And then this way, I think. One more, or two more. I guess there's a lot. There's a lot of these people. Skip sandwich. Do we even have room anymore? Oh, that was the last, the last bit of room. I don't remember. I don't think that way is the right path. I think it is down south here. Right, the don't go to heaven. The don't go to heaven person. That's so bonkers. I can't believe that slipped through Nintendo's like translation team. Like that they were that they were okay with that back then. It probably said something like go to hell as well. Originally. I'd be curious to know. A Psy Carmel. Oh, yeah, we definitely... We gotta trade something for that. Because that'll be good. That'll raise our PP back up. Um, Let's get rid of the skip sandwich. That's fine. Okay, okay. Oh, my gosh, they just disappeared. They died. That's cool. Oh, sweet. And these ones aren't trying to kill us either. This is such a creepy image right here. I, like, love it and hate it at the same time. I definitely... I'm going to make a uh, save state right here because this is the area that I'm going to use for the thumbnail of the second part. I'll, I'll definitely do that. I, I screamed because I, I didn't know what else to do. That's funny. Oops. We made it, Mr. Car Painter. You jerk. Thanks for coming. I've been waiting for you. I need your assistance to help make the world blue and change it into a happy and peaceful society. Will you be my right hand assistant? Why, no! If you don't want to be my right hand, my left would be just fine. Ha! Just kidding. Your existence is a problem for me and my religion. Defy me and I'll end your pitiful game! Car painter's lightning was reflected by the Franklin badge. I wonder... What? I don't remember what happens if you don't have the Franklin badge there. Alright, car painter, you're going down. Yeah, I wonder what happens if that crash boom bang attack hits us. Like, does it deflect back to him? Ooh, only 34. Let's see what Psy Love does.
Ooh, no, that wasn't a lot. We should definitely save. Yeah, we're gonna save our 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 sigh, our PP abilities for healing instead. Then. All right. Well, that person's getting um. Uh, hidden immediately. Nice job, Paul. Nice job. You got him. You got him good. Ooh, you're warped back outside if you don't have the badge. Okay, cool. See, that that's also the cool thing, right, with Earthbound is there's just, like, so many questions. There's so many what-ifs. Like, what if I did that different, you know? Um, ah, why are you doing that? Why people gotta be... Why, why people gotta do that? I will not acknowledge the spam bots anymore. Paul, you're... You're beautiful, though. You are a beautiful human. I hear an echo in the game. Does anyone else? <laughs> the happy happy is... Oh, no! Yeah, you're totally right. Do you see the Mani Mani statue behind me? Since I got the statue, I have been doing peculiar things. Please forgive me if you can. I just wanted to have a normal life. I apologize to everyone. Here's the key to open the jail in the mountain cabin where Paul is being held. Take the key and go. Your backpack is full. You should take this even if you need to throw away one of your items. Uh, can we s can we sell something here? Like, will someone come rushing in to buy something? That's amazing. Oh my gosh, I can't wait. We'll use the croissant. The croissant for it to know. All right, let's see. And then once they come rushing in... Oh wait, I guess I just used a croissant so I can get it. But I still want to try to sell someone something in here. If possible. Wait, someone is already heading this way. Wait for them to get here first. Okay. We'll see what happens. We'll see what happens. Maybe nothing. But otherwise, after this, we'll get the key for the door. And then... And then we will... Just... Go get Paula. If spammers are coming around, maybe it just means we've, we're doing something good. People are stupid, though. People are really stupid and really mean. So, psh. Maybe they have Mani Mani statues, like, in their rooms. And that's why they're being evil. Still, it's not okay. Please forgive me if you can. I just want to have a normal life. Apologize to everyone. You better live a good nut life now, buddy. So you're the boy that that you went after Mr. Carpainter, and you're you're awesome. Ah, there we go. Ah, hello. I saw your sign. And I thought I should stop and, and buy something. I tried and tried to find it, but no such luck. I think you should give this up and go home. If you took your business more seriously, you would be more considerate of your customers. Click beep. That's great. The person that wanted to come buy something from us, they couldn't. It looks like almost everybody woke up and left. There are only three people remaining. I don't want to stay. I'll get out of here. Where's the third person? Oh, there they are. Sorry about everything. Let's be buddies. Oh, Snicker, what a horrible nightmare. I, su I somehow woke up. Ness, let's be friends again. Please answer me. I promise to be good. Uh, okay. I'm pretty sure he just comes running right back and is like, Just kidding, see ya! Ha ha, I lied, see ya, sucker! That's alright, what a brat. That's alright, we don't need that kid. He sucks. 
Okay, do we have anything? No, nah, nothing to sell right now. That's okay, we'll go use the key and unlock the door for Paula, and maybe the key will just disappear. Maybe it will leave our inventory. It will be stuck in the, the lock that was on the door. Oops, I went too far down. Too far. Ness, you got the key! Are you hurt? Yes. I'm sorry for all the trouble I've caused you. Oh, I thought she was gonna, like, heal us or something. No. Oh, it was the same... Why'd you even ask? Is it just to show that Paul is nice? Okay. Let's use that key. Oops. There we go. Ness used the key to the cabin. Thank you, Ness. You're just like I imagined you would be. I'm sure that some people in Tucson are worried about me. Getting back there may be dangerous, but we can do it if we combine our strength. I'm able to use a little psychic power that is actually pretty deadly. Let's head back to Tucson. Yay, she got a teddy bear. Paula joined you. Yay. Paula's a part of the team now. Yes. It's so good. Oh, and the, sp the crows are very mad. Paula, let's see what you got. Oh, yeah, she's very weak right now. I forgot. But that's okay. Maybe that's why the crows are out here, because these crows are probably pretty weak too, right? Are they? I don't remember if they're strong or not. Nice. Down it goes. Good. Yeah, don't steal our stuff. Come on, crow. Get out of here. All right. There we go. I'm so glad we have Paula now. That'll be great. It'll be fun to, like, level her up. And we have another person that can keep more items. No more bike, but it was worth it. It's worth it to have friends around. Oh, get out of here, crow. No, 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 no. Gosh, I just made it worse for myself. Just made it worse in general. Really, really. Well, I think I'm going to stop the stream here. I'll put us in a, a, a nice place that looks cool. It looks good with... Oh, uh, how do I... Ugh, I'm trying to position them properly. Oh, that actually was okay. That's okay. That's not too bad. Thank you, everyone, for coming on this Earthbound journey. I, uh, I still want to... Oh, wait, I missed something? I missed a picture? Hungry Steak Boy? Did I? Do I need to go back and get something in that room? Let me know. Um, but I, I've been enjoying playing this again with everyone. It's really nice. I often have trouble finding time to play games. I think because there's too many things to do in life. And I I don't know. I just uh, I, I get myself busy with cleaning and with organizing things. Obviously, my games are always organized and I need to stop buying games. But um, but it's it's been really fun to play this again. And, and especially because this is i didn't make it you know i think like i was saying i think i got jeff when i was playing for the documentary and i don't think i made it a whole lot farther than that on my that that was my second playthrough so it'll be nice to to get further and kind of re-experience the stuff that i don't remember as well you know um with all of you instead so i hope you keep sticking around tell your friends that we're doing earthbound streams uh let me know what your favorite parts are if you ever clip things or share them on socials or whatever let me know um, but I hope everyone has a good day. And uh, oh yeah, I'll uh, I'll go I'll go dig for that thing. Uh, in a little bit, hungry. I'm gonna I'm gonna make a save state here. So that way we remember. We remember for next time. But all right, I'll go I'll go walk to the cabin. But I'm gonna close up the stream now. But have a good one, everyone. Thanks for hanging out, and we'll see you later. <laughs>